Hello? Walk one, baby. Talk fast. You have one minute. Because on a Friday night, me have to tune in to Real Talk on Stars 96 FM. Me and you have questions about love, birds, and the bees. Not to mention the ticks and the fleas. So you try tune in on a Friday night between 9 and 12 for Real Talk. At the show, we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. Good night, good night, and welcome to Real Talk. Thank you so much to our engineer, Cassidy. And, of course, it's good to have you and you and you on board with us tonight. It's our pleasure to take you through from now until 12 midnight. So please do stick and stay with us as we educate and entertain you. And hopefully you will be able to do the very same for us here on the show. My co-host tonight is Mr. Smoozik. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, he's looking really smooth and dapper tonight. Good night, Prestige. Great having you with me tonight. I want to say good night to you too, Lady Cleo. And you're looking so... Can I use the word sexy on the air? I should think so. If, if, yeah. if that's what it is, that's what it is, man. Yeah, you're looking so <laughs> sexy. I like the outfit you're wearing. Oh, you know what I'm saying? thank you. Yeah. Um, and he's looking very sharp too, ladies. I can tell you that. In shades of black and blue and white and red. That fire red. He's just looking really... <coughs> um, can I say sexy for a man? Uh, you can't say dapper. Dapper, <laughs> dapper <laughs> and charming tonight. Yeah. And of course, you yeah. know, ladies, he's got the personality to yeah. compliment the look. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's always doing that. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Good to have you with us tonight. And I'm sure the ladies okay. will have fun with you tonight. Hopefully, I'll be able to keep the gents um, smiling as well. My friend Dan Dan. My frenemy, well, my radio frenemy, we'll have a good show tonight. And to all the listeners, if it's your first time, welcome. If it's your second or third time, you just recently started listening to us. Well, we're, ha- gla- we're glad, we're glappy, glappy. We're glad and happy. Yeah, I guess that's glappy, right? We're happy that you are with us and you've told a friend to tell some other friend, yeah, that we are on the radio. In case you're tuning in via the radio, the dial is 96.1, 96.5, and 96.7 FM. And that's where you find Styles FM. Big ups to all our friends on the social media pages. All of those who are now on the Facebook Live connection locking in. Yeah, we love it, love it, love it. And we appreciate y'all so very much for taking the time out to share with us week after week after week. So let's hook them up on the social media pages, Cassidy, and load up our listeners and watchers tonight. So our Facebook family, yeah, you can check us out at Styles FM 96.1. That's where you go when you check out Facebook, all right? Go to the fan page and feel free to leave those comments, all right? Um, Our Instagram friends, you can follow us at Styles FM. And for our YouTube or Twitter friends, Styles FM 961 for Twitter. And for YouTube, you can see tonight's show post dated on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Alrighty, and shout outs also to all those who are on the go right now. Yeah, you're driving, you're at the gym, you're in the minibus in Jamaica, wherever you are, you're on the go, mm-hmm. whether locally or internationally. Let me say shout outs to you right now. Our USA on the go number is 712-832-2772. And our UK on the go number is 033001033322. For those of our friends who are in Canada, that number is 647957 Kudos and shout outs to our friends in Brooklyn and the Bronx. Brooklyn is 91.3 FM, and in the Bronx is 106.9 FM. Am tuning in every day except for um, Wednesdays and Thursdays. All right. So 
We also want to give you those local numbers to hook us up as we go throughout the show. So if you really feel like there's a burning issue you want to share on that local line tonight, if you're in Jamaica and you want to send us uh, SMS or you want to give us a WhatsApp message, you know, WhatsApp is one of the most familiar or quickest, easiest ways to get your message across, yeah? So just send us a WhatsApp text only or call this local number. It's 876-453-1444. That's 453 And of course, the area code before the numbers. All right. And for the overseas connection, for all our friends overseas who wish to call us throughout the show, that number is 954 954- Three three eight seven nine seven three. That's nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three. So, in house matters are dealt with, and we go to some little bit of exciting happenings around the world, around Jamaica, and around the world. Now, one of the things that jumps out or jumped out at me was a little little news I heard on the radio sometime was it today today and you know this young the long and short of it for those who might not have heard the story which i think probably by now her story has gone viral um but in case you have not heard it let me just briefly share with you um this 24 year old young lady mm-hmm. yes yeah, she has two children our, our our youngest child is about one something or thereabout she went to an atm machine to draw her to to withdraw her last two thousand dollars, she said, and in the morning, prior to going to the machine, she was actually you know like asking you know family members for a little help, a little, little change here or there, you know to help her to get on her way yeah and she went to the machine and she withdraw a little thing to do a little business and and you and I know everybody know that $2,000 is really like $200. Because mm-hmm. as you break $1,000 so, and buy one little something, you know, yeah. she buy a little lunch until it finished. Yeah. So there she was, and the, the, the little baby was actually troubling the trash can, she said. And she like said, you know, come, man, get out of the, don't trouble the trash can and whatever, whatever. And it's like, lo and behold, she realized that the kid was really interfering with a bag, a bag of cash. Oh, yeah, sir. And I don't think it was no pion, pion, bag of cash. A bag of cash, yeah? And she said her first instinct was just to get the bag and to take it to the police station, which, which she said wasn't very far. Well, what, what wouldn't have been very far away. And when she left the machine... She actually saw some officers and she went across to them and told them that she had found this bag with money. Mm-hmm. And they took her to the station and took her name and, you know, inf- her information and so on. And it was just, I sat there and I was listening to her and, and my eyes were welled with tears. And it wasn't because of. Uh, I'm not sure why I felt the way I did, but I was, it was very overwhelming. And I said to myself, wow, 24 years old, she's just young. She's a young lady. And she is poor, as she alluded. But you know what struck me? The fact that despite her situation, she thought that the best thing, without a second thought, the best thing to have done was to bring the money that did not belong to her to the authorities. And she did just that. And it tells me that if she has nothing else in this world, she has character, Mm -hmm. she has guts, Mm -hmm. and she has a a deeply embedded level of honesty and Mm -hmm. a conscience which is alive. Mm -hmm. So what those police did with the money? They... She, they said she said shortly after the gentleman apparently who yeah i did dropped it whatever mm-hmm. came running and was like you know 
thanking her a million and one times mm. because chances are he would have probably gotten into some trouble or maybe mm. it was business money or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he, she said he gave her like, a five, like $500, which is all he said he had. Mm. And, of course, you know you're going to have, and she said it, she said you're going to have people who are going to be saying negative things and those will be saying positive things. But it's for you to know not to listen to the negative things that people will have to say. And again, my eyes just flop all over again because I'm like, wow, here's this young lady who knows that what she did was the right thing in her, in her sense of being and her existence. She knew that what she did was the right thing, despite what people around her was, were saying as it relates to, you know, yeah, you did. You should take the money, call you know the money, and you, you come a beg, a beg, a beg, a beg people, you know, little help, and you get one bag of money and carry it, you know. And there were some people were at her for mm. for doing that. Yeah, she felt good that she had, and if you, you know, were if you were in her situation, have done you have done the same thing. thing? The same thing. Eh? Yeah. Mona do the same thing. Come, I go with the money first. Me I got me yard with that. Go do what? I feel. you. Oh, you mean go go do what? I feel your money. Me's a broke man. No. Right? No, no, no. have 2000 no. left. No. You want to tell me first, may I carry it to the police first? May I go check it out first? So we are checking your yard for do? Go check it out. Me I can't carry it. Check out what your bank? Me can't check it out. I'm defining. Bank? The police are <laughs> <man> no bank. <laughs> but, 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 but by so law. So this young man never uh, um, come back now. Right? At the time, let he come them, claim this money. Let them let deal with them. Let them. <laughs> let them. <laughs> Prestige, you're crazy. Let them. <laughs> But I applaud. We come back to that discussion. Your face alone says it all. Oh. Um. This lady, this young lady, mm -hmm. I applaud her. Yes. I respect her. I applaud her too because <laughs> the owner for the money come on, on time. Yeah. And get the oh, money. Oh Jesus. But but I think she did the right thing. Yes. I think she did the right thing. The, yeah. the morally correct thing to have done. And I am glad she did that because when things became when she became public when it became public mm -hmm. and of course the, the media persons wanted to interview her and so on the cleaner and so, or the observer or whatever mm -hmm. um wanted to come and get her get her story mm -hmm. it so happened that this young lady wanted to do classes yes and with all that has happened and with that act of um kind well kindness. i would say kindness yeah. yes and honesty uh, honesty she has give, been given the opportunity to be to be able to go to her the class that she wanted to do go to at heart. Who spent? She yes, yeah, she getting sponsorship to go to art. She, mm -hmm. she will be getting sponsorship. She says mm -hmm. to finish her um, housekeeping course yeah. at heart. She's now an ambassador, and she has gotten some other opportunities opening up for her. And and her, 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 as Emily as Emily said rightly so, mm. her face is on the front page of the paper uh -huh. in a very good way yeah had she not given up this money uh -huh. the chances are they would have still more nine to ten out of ten chances they would have found who who got it because the cameras and everything in the machine hold on and then her publicity would have been a negative one okay you and she probably would have been on the star yes but in a bad light you think her face disgracing herself but not even that you think her face would be right on the front page as you said, and if and this young man wasn't on time to collect that money, <laughs> uh, I don't know. All the story would have in the paper, scenery, but her face wouldn't be on the front page. Maybe. It's maybe. We, we, yeah. we know. We, I know yeah. where you're going. What do you mean you know where you're going? I know this exactly where you're going. I'm not joking. But yeah. I'm sure people, people have found money before and yeah. handed it over. Yeah. I'm not sure if they're story oh. went to the a, any publication what happened, sure. to, what, what happened to this story with the with the the the, 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 the um insane man the man we, we mad we find the whole pump the bag of money in a uh, the garbage bin where yeah. my dig and find it and carry up on the front page some man take away from him and start open meet up and when them open meet up money like crazy in a some buckle 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 in jamaica mafia yes in man to go be Oh, yeah. I wonder if it's scamming money. Money, you know, like the money put that in back for, for, for years. And some of the money, them. As in paper? Yes, and some of the money, them just dust out. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, my God. take away from the madman. And they write the honest account and uh, 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 um, separate with them to separate. Yeah. Oh, man. 
You know what? It's 9.30, people. And, of course, we're going to take the time signal. It's brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. More Real Talk when we return. Yeah. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at Eight nine three two two six six. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp five one eight two three nine nine to advertise your business and events. Call, text, or WhatsApp us on five one eight two three nine nine five one eight. Don't forget, 518-2399. Extra, extra, read all about it. It's Fan Fusion tickets. Yes, pre-sold Fan Fusion tickets are now available at Styles FM Studio, 4 Barmuck Avenue, Port Antonio, White Case Pharmacy, West Street, Touch Pharmacy, West Street, La Best Sports Bar, Port Antonio. All Styles FM DJs have tickets as well. Morant Bay, Texaco. Also, Universal Electrical and Plumbing Supplies. Wharf Road, Morant Bay, St. Thomas. For more information, call 518-2399. More ticket outlets coming soon. This is Jati, the Reggae Ambassador. Join me this and every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Right here in Styles FM 96.1, 96.5, 96.7 for the Tony Larvan Show. In style, on style. We're going to eat you off that G-Spot at 3 o'clock. We've got the Collector's Edition with Twin Spin. Inside Music Biz with Teddy Ledley. Nuff, nuff, niceness. Right here in Styles FM. This and every Saturday from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. You got it? Really rich now for the other side. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital team. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artist and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Come, Styles FM. Digital T. Oh, I pray. Look, huh? Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. I trust that didn't go on air. <laughs> All right. Welcome back, guys. Uh, we're talking about the Good Samaritan, the young lady who, 24-year-old young lady who found a huge bag of money mm -hmm. inside an, AT an ATM machine. She needed money, all the money she could get, but when she found this money that wasn't hers, she decided to hand it over to the authorities without second thought. Of course, her life changed. <laughs> of course, her life changed immediately um, following that act of bravery and honesty um let me just say um shout outs to celia yeah who is locked into styles fm skinning off our teeth or i'm sure our cheek 
her cheekbones or her facial muscles should be hurting her right now. Mm -hmm. And of course, to Diane in Atlanta and Vivian over there in Atlanta as well. All our friends on the social media page, well, on the WhatsApp connection, I shout you up in a bit and share your your comments. Prestige. Yes, clear. Your face, for those who might not mm -hmm. be able to watch, your mm -hmm. face mm -hmm. was just livid. Mm -hmm. Me. In mm -hmm. other words, yes, and me, you over that money, you're crazy. Let me say something to you. <laughs> First of all, if me go out there, me don't know. Me don't, me don't, me don't, me don't think me that lucky. I don't <laughs> think I'm that lucky that way. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. But because in the, in me, the me, event me, that you are. Me, yes, I may buy cash, but so many times, right? When I get a dream. I'm, for me, dream never come true. So me don't know. Me <laughs> don't think me that lucky if you just go to a robot. If it ever happen yes and despite the cameras the amount of cameras mm -hmm. up there and me take up that bag of money me carry it home uh, me uh, go start up me go check out and see what is what <laughs> me go put it down <laughs> safely and me go wait wait on what wait on what me go wait nobody has your number to call it to say me call me from whom me go wait for say me get a call because maybe someone saw my picture there and they said they know who is that person. Mm -hmm. You get me and people know how to make links to get call with yes, people. Yes, right, right. I know which part I live. You know what yes. I mean? Because I might get a call out of my gate. Right. You know? And when we come out, <coughs> I tell him, say yes, I didn't want to take it to the station because it's a lot of money and, and I want to make sure that the individual who lost this money get it back. But I go ask him to my cut out tight. <laughs> No, I might cut out it. Because I take it to the police station, I may not get anything. He may not get anything either. You know what I'm saying? So me make sure I put it down safe. If he don't turn up over months and months and months, oh, I all right. Jesus, you see what I say? I'm going to donate some to some charity organization <laughs> and I keep the rest. The Lord will bless me. Only thing the people. Lord might curse you to because you're thief to people that money will be fine. But I'm going to donate some. Oh the charity foundation. The Lord oh will bless me Lord. for that. Let's see what. Yeah. Two thousand dollars left in my account. I, I, I tell me five millions. <laughs> and you can't get police putting a police hand and another police money. You must be mad. Me. What is the law there for? Not what is planet. the law there for? The law. Eh? Yes. The law is there that if them hold me and carry me to the station, I can defend myself and tell them the reason why I didn't bring it to them. Okay. All right, let's see what the, the words are. Here's something else. Um, Mount Landscaping says, the other day some money fell off a brings truck on the highway. Block traffic. They're asking people to return the money. They got, they got back a little so far. A little, you know. Mm. So that means there are people who just took up money off the highway mm. and just went home with it. Mm. Wow. Mm. Kivoy Chambers in Sunning Hill, St. Thomas says, Good night, Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Well, it's Daddy, well, Daddy Prestige. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Let's um, see what 561 says. Yes, I see it. For real. A true. Nova locked in as well in Peru. Hello, Nova. At work listening. That's good. My friend Lisa in Atlanta, Georgia. Not me. Find not me. I find it. It's mine. Don't care what. <laughs> Nisha in Roland Spiel says, Good night, Lady Cleo. And to the boss beside you. Um, let's see what Marvin says, um, Cassidy. And then of course we go back. Marvin says, Good night, Lady Cleo. Oh no, that's um I are, I are the ear. Okay, good to have you on board, Marvin. <laughs> um, let's see what um, Sadie. someone's... Sadie yeah, Sadie had some comments there. Mm. Sadie says, um, and then another person after Sadie. Um, let's see. Hmm. Ooh. Cleo and Daddy Road, prestige tonight. How you doing? We are blessed to be alive and present for class, happy belated Teacher's Day to you. Thank you so very much, my dear, to you both. Um, you taught us a lot. Love you both. Oh, so tweet, thank you. And we've learned a lot from your stories, too. Um, <clears throat> Menagi, no police. 
and my money. That's my luck. All right. <laughs> then um, she not get any of the money, Cleo. What award can buy mm, them lucky? Okay. Can be done. Them lucky. The mm. only one I get little help out of that money is the people them that on the street. They don't have full clothes shelter. Few me a help. Mm. Okay. So should have used the money to help people who are homeless on the street. Uh, but guess what, peeps? It, you know, they're probably... What about the fact that the person who would have lost this money... Mm -hmm is in some serious problems in terms of the business place that probably would have lost this money. That's serious um, loss. Yeah. Operating as a loss. That's mm -hmm. not fair. Mm -hmm. It's not fair to the person who lost it. Yeah, but at the same time too, I understand that. But it's not fair to the person who <laughs> lost it that when you carry to the police station and you don't turn, turn over to that person either. And my luck gone. Is it when fair? we could have keep it same way. Do you think, it, do you yeah. think you're, you're being selfish if you were to keep it for your personal gain and to even to help people on the road or whatever? Yeah. The fact that it's not your hard-earned money. Wouldn't Remember, you I'm not thief my teeth money, you know. I find me fine, you know. But, but, but it, it, is finding it, yes. isn't finding it the same as if you had stolen it? But may I keep it until the person turn up? But what, uh, if, uh, what uh, if they uh, never turn up? Me just make it see it until the person turn up. If they never turn up, right? Then... Me use it and do something good. So what and help if... People. So what you want me to get back now to the police station because the person turn off in the money and just get to the police station? Yes, and, and it's over. I mean, the police are split, eh? You no, know work. no. That's not in my regime. You don't get no split. You just give it up. It's that's not in my regime. That's not much of me and again. People, you want to see his face. Not, my, not my regime. Oh, Lord. Good night, no, ladies sir. and gentlemen. Wilton Newman in Calgary. Where's Calgary? Canada. Oh, Calgary, mm. Canada. Mm. Um, First... And most, first and foremost, I guess, I have to congratulate this young lady for doing the right thing. Um, here, here, yeah. here. However, okay then, I have to be honest. I wasn't going to return that money. <laughs> no, I am here reading this. Mm. First of all, he says, mm. let me congratulate <laughs> this young lady for yeah. doing the right yeah. thing. Yeah. So I'm saying, oh, somebody who is echoing my sentiments. Yes. But then the second line says, however, because however shows negation. Yeah. You're, however is now suggesting that you'd have done the opposite. Opposite. Right? However, I have to be honest. I wasn't going to return that money. Mm. There are so many things I would have done with it for myself along with others. Well, Matt, you're contradicting yourself because you... Nothing well, wrong with it if him congratulate the young lady. That, that's just congratulating right. her for doing the right thing. Right. But he wouldn't have done the right thing, no. per se. No. Okay. But I, him I congratulate her. I, yes, I, I hear you, Wilma. Yeah, man. I, I, was, done, I've done, I would have done the same thing, too. That's a good one, Wilma. Yeah. You got me right there. Real I tell talk. You, I just call it real talk. You got me. It is a real talk, yes. isn't it? All right. Let's see quickly what other people are saying mm. before I hail up the parishinas and the... Yeah. Um, <laughs> this, this discussion has taken off like a, yes. a, a rocket tonight. Yeah. Um, it's the best she do. God will bless her. Mm. Definitely. I think so too, Nisha. Um, she's receiving the blessings already because in, 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 in a split second, yeah. your face is not convincing, I know, right? Yeah. You're not, you're not, not like, liking my speech right now. Yeah. But in, in such short order... Her life changed from one extreme, or is so gradually changing from one extreme to the other. Yeah. So you, I have to congratulate her. And had she not done that, who knows? Maybe just and and not not maybe, she would have been in the same state that she is in for, was in for a longer period of time. So so what I'm saying, right? Nisha said, um, God will bless her, right? Yes. Because she have done the right thing, right? Definitely. You don't think God would have blessed me too if me did just keep it instead of me carry it to the police and the police don't hand it over to the, the, the people then? <laughs> you don't, don't think God would have blessed me too? I don't know. Eh? Oh, you mean? You I don't, don't know. know. I don't know. Take me, take the money. I don't know. Find me, find it. I don't know. I don't find the police and find it and me carry it give them. I, 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 where you that said no. My take them, conscience take it. would have given me to go spend that money. Them Even if I know I want the money and I could find use for it, yeah. the fact that it's not mine yeah. to think of Burst because she said she could have used her teeth, yeah, probably to burst the bag if she wanted to, yes, because her hands couldn't mm -hmm. do it. It was a rather thick plastic, mm -hmm. and to, to be opening that bag and to be carrying it home and putting money in my purse and in my in my in my bag and spending going 
going abroad to, 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 to shop or going to Kingston to do some shopping or wherever, mm-hmm. you know? It, it just it look like not feel, them. It, look like it, it would not feel right to me, none at all. I couldn't do it. At the cash machine, she find the money right at the... In, in, she was inside the ATM machine yeah. inside. And the, the, the people that come to put the money in at the... Apparently it yes. fell. Yeah, yeah. No, them come to put it in and then we then do them go to lock the machine, right? And think them putting that money in there. Maybe. Those guys know. from the bank, from yeah, the, um, the security possibly. company, because that's how the money come. Yeah, they come in, in plastic bags, like that. Plastic, 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 back, right. plastic. So And, it's a, and it trust up. me, I've seen them yeah. um, servicing the machine. Yeah. And it's not pure, pure money no. you're talking about. No. It's not $100. No, a couple of millions go inside. Right. Them. Yeah. So I, I rate her 100%. Yeah. Girl, kudos to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Prestige, I me, know. How are you, I man? I can't look so. We can't look at so. We are going tonight, go pray. Come with a love, with a love, with a love, feel lucky like that. Let's see who else is commenting Jano. on this issue. Oh boy. Mm. Um. All right. So let's 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 uh, let's um acknowledge the presence of our friends in Saint Mary. I know you're listening in, and of course you're wondering how clean my shot we are tonight. So I haven't forgotten y'all, right? Big up to our friends in Saint Mary who are locked in. Remember Fan Fusion July 13 right here in Portland, and to our friends over there in Saint Anne as well who are. Locked in as well to real talk. Big up, big up, big ups to you. Um, of course, you know, we have Bright Eye in St. Mary running from, I think, not um, Port Maria yeah. to probably um, a not, is it a not to be or, or Ochi side? Or right, wherever you are Mary. tonight, um, yeah. think St. Mary up in um, Bright Eye, big up yeah. yourself, you and your crew locked in. Yeah. yeah, man, all the people out there on the roads right now still hustling, taxi drivers. Yeah, keep it safe and keep it locked to Styles FM. Our friends in, <clears throat> sorry, in Portland, big ups, big ups, big ups to you. Movie shooting is still going on here, there, all throughout the town. Different days you see scenes set up and gearing to do for, to do shooting for the James Bond movie. So all those involved in that, yeah, kudos to y'all. Of course, big ups to Portland on the map, even bigger and better than before. Um, to our friends in St. Thomas, family, friends, everybody over there in St. Thomas, big up Rampus, big up yourself, all the crew, Shatter, my brethren, Murray, and Picture Frame, childhood, teenage years, friends, big up on yourself, Veloros and the crew, everybody up there in Clooney, locked in, Soho, everybody, mummy, Uncle Jojo, everybody. Of course, Lionel over there in St. Mary. Daddy, pick up on yourself, all right? Love you guys so much. All right, Anthony Penn Nelson is locked in um, on the Facebook Live connection. And big ups, of course, to Anika in Seaforth and RJ in Seaforth, St. Thomas. And can I just say to the... Folks in St. Thomas who were seriously affected, the students, the teachers who were affected by the fire that destroyed a very significant part of the Seaforth High School. Um, of course, you know, our prayers go out to you and we pray that the blessings will come flooding in. We know the students are preparing for the their various external exams, so this might be a little bit of a you know setback, but we know that you have the resilience and the strength to overcome. Jackie, um, the public relations officer for JTA over there in St. Thomas, um, brought us the information. Thank you, Jackie. And of course, keep um, the blessings and and give what you can give. You know those are. Those at yard and abroad, give what you can give to the Seaford High School and help them to recoup as quickly as possible from this very, very effective fire on la- last weekend. All right? Yes. Prestige. So tonight we have our Vox Pop. Thank you guys for your little input on that one. And keep doing good because when you do good, trust me, good will follow you. And I prefer to do good and my name is smacked on good than on negative. All right? So tonight our Vox Pop is as follows. 
What's your view on fathering or mothering a child conceived by unfaithful practices of your partner? <coughs> Sorry. What's your view <coughs> on fathering or mothering a child conceived by unfaithful practices of your partner? That's part one, door of Oxpop. If you deny your partner sex or any kind of affection for, say, uh, two months, and he or she gets it elsewhere, whose fault is it? Explain. And part three says, do you think if a person cannot satisfy another person's needs, is it fair? Is it a fair expectation for the needy to remain loyal? <clears throat> or is he selfish to, prov to deprive them? Is the person supposed to remain loyal? The person who is in need of the affection, should they remain loyal even though the other partner is not giving them any affection? Should they remain loyal if the person is not giving them any attention? If the person is not giving them the respect that they deserve, should they remain loyal? Or is selfish? Is it selfish to, to deprive them? So if it is that Prestige and I are together, and Prestige is not giving me any dancing, no tender loving care, yeah? Is it that I should remain faithful to him? Or would it be selfish of him to be depriving me of what it is that I should be getting? Hmm. Hmm. Or is it selfish on my part? Yeah? If it is that I say, you know what? Enough of this. I'm not getting what I deserve to get or what I need. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> be selfish about it. So... When do you stop, though, to consider you? When is putting you first disloyal? If it is that you're at a point where the partner is not giving you what you deserve and you choose to not remain in need because you are in need of something and you need to, to satisfy that need, when is it unloyal or disloyal, I should say, when does it become a disloyal situation when it is that you're putting you first? Is putting you first a bad thing? Or is it that you should always put the other person first despite you having a need? Prestige said, hmm. And we know where he's going with that. Hmm. All right. So let's go back to the top. What's your view on fathering or mothering a child conceived by unfaithful practices of your partner? So, Prestige and I in our relationship, and him decide to go. Not not about me, you. You go give me burn. Yeah. So you go out there and you give burn, as you say, or you cheated, and you got a lady that you were carrying on with pregnant. I'm already at home with Omachin oh, Jing Bang at my feet that belongs to both of us. They belong to both of us. Yet you go out there, or it could be a case where we don't have any. Okay. Or could, even worse. Mm -hmm. It could be a case too where we, where we are considering having one. Mm -hmm. But yet you go out there and go get this lady pregnant. I don't know nothing to go until our baby soon born or near born or born. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to come and expect me to mother that child. Mm -hmm. Boy, people, real talk, that one is absolutely rough from Cleo's perspective. Then suppose me I try, I me I try, I, no, we are trying and trying and trying and trying and you cannot get pregnant. That's a whole different kettle yeah. of fish. Right? I'm kind of those, you know, say, so you know what? Say that question for our letter because our letter um, speaks to something on that. Okay. All yes. Right. So, <clears throat> okay. For you, we, it is a case where 
this case is not the one of those where, oh, we've been trying, 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 and we're not. Mm -hmm. It's not so much that. Okay. It's a case where we just got to go cheat. We're good. We, we got are to right. Go I just go to go just yeah. cheat and get catch my yeah. youth. You never withdraw quick enough. I yeah. never put on no no, no rubbers on your willy. You go they go go give up my fatness and my yes. sweetness. Yes, and it's sweet you yeah. tell you all. Whatever, yeah. I even take woman take a woman's word for it that oh boy she's on the pills and blah yeah. blah blah and yada 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 and lo and behold maybe she only want the youth. Yeah, do your talking or so me have to do my talk. To you go you give me my sweetness. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, um, it, it's amazing that yeah. you have men yeah. who will say mm. when the man go out there and mm. get the youth and come back is a yeah. different thing mm -hmm. from when the lady go out and get the youth. It's because a different thing because no, the lady, the lady, no. they, the lady they will come back in. The lady they will come back in. Right? Until they say, I feel pitney. You get me? I am mine and pitney. We are not feel for much years. But no, when no. we go there and get it, you are going to hear, so we get it. No. I, I get that, that, yes. that twist to it. I get okay. that twist. All but right. if it is that your nose is not yours and she comes back. Mm -hmm. the men, men, men's excuses are mm -hmm. like, oh, it's different because... You yeah, see the belly. Mm -hmm. You yeah, see the belly and boy, if you know, then you put it there. It's hard. It's mm -hmm. hard. And I'm saying, with other, when the woman sees the other woman with the same belly yeah. and she knows that it's you put it there, mm -hmm. it's equally hard. Mm -hmm. What's with the double standard with you men? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. What do you mean, same thing? It's the same thing. So if you have your wife or yeah. your girl mm -hmm. and everything is fine, yeah. you know? Yeah. At least so you thought then, yeah? <laughs> but <clears throat> for some reason... Um, something happened and she ended up becoming pregnant. Mm -hmm. Maybe she never even I planned the thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe she never even knew for sure so she was even pregnant because maybe she got to do her thing at a time when <coughs> she's not um, ovulating. That's my wife, yeah, talk. Yes. Yes. And I could think one with, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. a brethren, mm -hmm. maybe a, a, a past mm -hmm. thing or... She and somebody just happened to eat yeah, up a, a, a strike, a, 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 like a spark, one I should say. To. Yeah, or something, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so many things can happen. Mm -hmm. But she, that thing go on, you know, and mm -hmm. boy, she, and she belly covers come. and belly she, come. And Missy Belly come, and me feel good within myself. So, well, damn, have a, we have a little Juna come in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we have smile both. We have a little Juna come in, so you take it up from there now. Take it over from there and continue. <laughs> uh, Marcia in South Carolina, yes, the box pop choke me. <laughs> this yeah. will choke anybody, my love. Yeah. Um, so. Yes. We have a little Juna coming. Yes. You go out there, you cheat. Belly, I come. Would you be okay in fathering that child? No. But you have it, it's yours. You have to come out of my house. Is your wife? Me say you have to come better out of or worse. Me say you why have to come out of the house. Why when you know better or for worse come, it's okay. Me I tell you about me, you know. So you, you make your own decision where you want to make, you know. Me I make my own. So you don't love her anymore? Me say you have to come I out of my house. I ask you a question, sir. No. You don't love me anymore? No. Me don't want no man mingling with my food. <laughs> I mingle with my food. You have to leave. So, so, so tell me something. Yeah. Tell me something. After all you two have built together, yeah. you're just going to... Put her out just so. So why you go out there and cheat? What is the reason for you to go out there and cheat? Can the men who ever do this answer that question? Yeah. Why do they do it? Why? Mm -hmm. Why do men cheat, Cassidy? It's a lot of things. Uh -huh. Sometimes you are home, right? Uh -huh. Your wife is so miserable. Uh -huh. You mean someone on the outside, she's so nice. Uh -huh. You and I can conversate. Uh -huh. Then your wife can conversate and live with it no uh -huh. more. Because the guy out, I don't know if she meets somebody else, so it's want to talk to that person too, but it kind of just fade out when I live there, mm -hmm. right? So, are you it's listening many to this, different things. Are you listening to this man, ladies? No, I don't know, joke. So, so, so. The so, sex so, life is not there so, anymore, too. So, let's flip that script, yes. Mr. Prestige. Yes. And I'm asking you now, mm -hmm. if it is that. I'm going to be men, real with you this yes, night. Yes, real, my brother, yeah, real. This night. If it is that those are the factors that can contribute to a man going out there to cheat. Mm -hmm. Don't you see the very same factors contributing to why a woman would possibly cheat as well? No, stay home, relax yourself. Back foot. You get me, I say? Oh. Underneath my regime. So, she, don't need a not, she can't be in need of anything, and, and if she don't get it, she go, she go, she go look it. Where? She, she shouldn't go and look it. 
Well, she shouldn't go out to go go cheat none at all because she oh get loving. Oh my God. She get loving. And if her money she and want, and for me little money too, skimmy, skimmy, oh, hold on, we can't hold talk on. about that. But she hold get on. loving, so oh we should go to go cheat for Hold that thought. Just now you alluded yeah. that some of the reasons why men cheat yeah. are X, Y, and Z. Yeah. And I'm saying to you that women, yeah. you might find that there are women who have the same complaint where the men are mis miserable, they are drinkers, they are abusive, verbally abusive, some of them physically abusive, they're not taking care of the home, the ladies are struggling on their own, and these factors can contribute to she finding somebody who is nice. Uh, yeah, as you put it, yeah, he's respectful to her. He treats her good. He takes care of her, yeah. and that could uh, uh, that could contribute to her becoming involved with that person. Well, all right, real talk then, right? Mm -hmm. Don't do a woman cannot do what Don't a man give me do. that. So Don't listen give to me, me right? That. So listen to what I'm saying, right? Don't take up yourself and put yourself in other shoes to go and cheat because you're not know, easy to get caught. When it's we are doing them things there, eh, we are right and we play every game smooth uh, and go get, all the way through. Get caught and we don't get caught. So we don't do that. You get caught more than women. You get me? Men don't do get that. caught more than women. I strongly believe that. Don't you all? No. Cassidy? Men don't get caught more than women? No. We know no game when I play whole heap of time and we just go like we don't even know. Oh. Yeah. And we don't know your games. Uh-huh. We're trying to know our game. Sure. Ladies, ladies, yeah. text me. You hear because yeah. Prestige trying. want to try to convince me yeah. that we ladies don't know what they are all up to more time. What the ladies? Right? What happened to the ladies them tonight? Uno stand they're, they're up for texting. clear. Stand up for clear they're tonight. Texting and that you. want me to do Ma stand up for clear tonight. Marcia. Because you know this is real talk. <laughs> Marcia in South Carolina says, yeah. Prestige, as soon as you get comfortable out there, mm -hmm. you're going to do it again. Mm -hmm. Let's open and see what Marcia is saying. Marcia has more. Um, who, who else is there? Okay. We, we never cheated, you know. Men never cheat. Oh, we always play the game. We never cheat. Oh, Jesus. Mansa Musa. All right. Hi, Mansa. How you doing? <laughs> Cleo, the wife will not see the belly. Most times, let, let's see what Mansa is saying. We mm. want to see all of that before we read it. Mm. All right. Um, man. Clear the wife will not see the belly most times. That woman will be living out of our house. But yeah. the wife or woman at the house will be in the house with you. And That's we must the see the belly there. Yeah, 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 man. Sir. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I real yeah. talk that. And, and she, she knowing that this woman is out there with her mm. belly for you. Mm. And you don't come in a certain time of the evening. She's she, she not dying knowing that he's there rubbing the belly and... Mm. You know, sweet talking this girl, and when I call him, him can't answer the phone, or him saying that work still when he's lying. All these things create psychological effect on a woman's mind. But you know what happened? When we notice, it's pretty much the you, same you know thing, me, man. No, no, you know, when we notice, Cleo. Let me tell you what we notice. If. Oh, we, oh, we are past, the, past the 10 o'clock oh, break, and my engineer my... was signaling to yes. us. You know, it's now. Three minutes past no, 10. ten. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Order Stage and Light. We'll be right back. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at A. 893-2266 Good day driver You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone You know so you can get a ticket for this sir Really officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies you know Do me a beg you, give me a blind huh? So if you need hardware supplies Why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland We stock a wide range of products at the best 
prices in town. At Ramtino's Hardware, experience the three C's, comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtino Supercenter and Hardware, opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132. Email ramtinosupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. town. Anticipated party of the summer is back. Styles FM, Fan Fusion Party, Episode 6, Drunken Masquerade. Saturday, July 13, 2019, at the Bayview Waterfront property, Oysters Bay, Port Antonio, Jamaica. Come here, Styles FM's finest DJs, juggling retro hits from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. Admission 700 pre sold, 1000 at the gate, VIP 3500, Styles Evo 6000. Party starts at 7 p.m. sharp. Listen to Styles FM for ticket outlets or call. 876-518-2399. Fan Fusion Party. Drunken Masquerade. Dress tropically elegant. Fan Fusion is not just a party. It's an experience. Must be 18 years and older to enter. ID required. Drink responsibly. Quality in sound reinforcement and backlining, native audio. We have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience. So call us and we'll take care of your parties, wedding receptions, barbecues, conferences, and small stage shows. Crystal clear sound, native audio. Our prices are the best. Call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native audio. We make your events audible. 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 Oh, Mom, we love you so. And that's why Cliffhanger Restaurant and Lounge offers its annual Mother's Day special with a difference. Sunday, May 12, 2019. Come treat your mom to the finest of seafood cuisine, salads, drink, and desserts, plus a variety of other local dishes. Cliffhanger Restaurant and Lounge, located at Ross Craig, Long Bay, Portland, provides the ideal ambience and the perfect getaway for Mother's Day. Brunch served 12 noon to 2 p.m. For reservations, call 876-863-0933 or 876-416-2744. Cliffhanger Restaurant and Lounge for this Mother's Day. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events, whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. Thank you for sticking with us and thank you for joining us if you're just doing so. We give you the Vox Pop once more for tonight. What's your view on fathering or mothering a child conceived by unfaithful practices of your partner? If you deny your partner sex or any kind of affection for, say, a period of two months and he or she gets it elsewhere, whose fault is it? Yours or his? Or theirs. Explain. Do you think if a person cannot satisfy another person's needs, it is a fair expectation for the needed to remain loyal, or is selfish to prov or is selfish to, to to deprive them? All right. Um, so we were looking on the issue of mothering a child that your husband brought in that is not yours. Um, ladies, would you go ahead and mother such a child? Do you know of anyone who has or is or who left the husband because she decided not to mother that child? Um, gentlemen, would you keep your wife after she was impregnated by someone else? And she explained it all to you and told you what happened and she, how apologetic she was, how sorry she was. Would you keep her in the home? Would you raise this particular child? 
<laughs> um, would you um, let her stay there and you raise this child? Um, you know, would you continue into the relationship and keep this child as your own? What? Would you? Would you not? Do you know of anybody who has taken on a woman's child? Well, they were together with the woman, and due to unfaithful occurrences, she got pregnant, but he still stayed with her, stuck by her, and fathered the child. It would be good for you to share such stories if it is that you have one. Remember, the phone lines are open. The local number is 954. Sorry, the local number is 876-453-1444. And the international number is 954-338-7973. Let's go back to the messages on screen, Cassidy. All right, so... <clears throat> For me, mothering that child boy, I don't know. I don't I don't think so. We have a caller on the four five three. Good night, caller. I think I lost the call. So we invite you to call back just now. Not sure what happened there. All right. Um in the meantime, Sadie says, Cleo, me no man who have them wife and go outside and get children. And he and the wife still together. But me glad me have my own house and single because me no depend that. I swear. All right, the call comes back. Good night, caller. Thanks for calling back and welcome to Real Talk. Night, Cleo. Good night, first kids. How you doing, bro? Good enough. Good night. Yes, let me hear your view on this part of the story now. Okay, okay. But I just want to congratulate the, the lady that turned about for the money still. Real talk. Real talk. Yeah, well, con, uh, con, well, I really want to congratulate her. Many the process was turned on for her and rob her and mm. she wouldn't be safe. So she did the right thing. Yeah, yeah. so what you that do if you define it? We need more of that in Jamaica. What you that do if you define it? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna turn it over just just like just the same. Yeah. The situation has changed psychologically and morally. She never ready for that yet. Yeah, but you, 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 what, why you couldn't keep it until you, your um the voice out there said um <laughs> the la, your last the last X Y Z if anybody Prestige. find it. Prestige. Yeah. It, it, it was at the central police station in the downtown Kingston. You know. Yeah. It's not safe nowhere at all, yeah. and you couldn't keep it because the camera it would have spread so fast and. Put her purse as a kind of rubber. Yeah. She's safer now. Yeah. She's she more credible now. Yeah. Yes. And, and she more she have her ratings bigger than her life. Yeah. Safe. They yeah. would have killed her for that money. Real yeah. talk. You know, he, 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 she did the right thing. Yeah. Cool as to her. And she go and she go and so she go and excel. Yeah. Far and wide. That's right. Yeah, I said she not do the real thing. She did the real thing. But but yeah, but that's talk about you. Me? Yeah. yeah yes, I would turn to a back. I will turn dear, yeah. dear and then because look here, it is then it is dangerous. And it's the right thing to do. And in, in law, they said that's the first thing to do when you find things. Mm. You have to keep it. Yeah. Where did you where did the right thing? You have nothing to fret about. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So, so the police them would have turned it over. The police them. Yeah. They should. Yeah, not, be, not because they should, but not because mm. I'm not wicked or sin or murder. Why you should do it too? Mm. Real talk. Minute eh? <laughs> me. me. Yeah. Uh, like I like wrong. Me not, me not, me not, me not, she not wrong, you know. Yeah. She not wrong. She's not wrong. You know, she's right all the way and she did the right thing that in the law. Mm -hmm. So the right thing around she said a good example for her children. Yeah. And at least I said parasite to the killer. All the people who are going. Family and good friend who are and, and the rubber. same one. So nobody never have to know. They let me find it. I mean, know that know? nobody never have to know yeah. that. Me put it down and nobody no know about that. The same ones who are cost says she should have kept the money. As yeah. she kept that money, they are the same ones, some of them, who would come and dig off our door the, the, that night and get and take it. Then a rubber man. Yes. And prestige, you couldn't keep that guy. You would have gone by a liquor and pram pram up away. Me. <laughs> me. <laughs> listen, listen to me, man. Nobody wanna know, cause me know the consequence if people out there know. Say me have that. Me know that. And then just see I walk up and walk up West Street and up past the bomb book and I laugh and I say, but I'm a rugged prestige. Me? <laughs> Nobody never know, say me find a penny. 
You go accept different man. You never tell me that. I tell me, I tell you that straight up. Remember, listen now. Remember, say, Mr. Man, you know, me been there done that, you know, me know what time it is, you know. Me know if me have certain <laughs> things <laughs> were valuable. I may find certain thing. things are valuable. Me know me can't walk them out and talk because me know all them people up on the outside all them stay. Right? So if I water me I buy every day when me go Miss Joe shop, I water me I buy same way. You get me? I saw me stay and here, until everything here, calm down. You have time to, to think now. Oh, so, you're standing, so you can't say anything. Me lie down and think every day. So I want to come across my way. Uh, look here, Carla. Tell yeah. me what yeah. you would do if your fiancé or your girlfriend or your wife your lady, you're home together, or you see each other from time to time, you are in a relationship, but then she gets pregnant. Would you yep. still father that child if she asks for your help? I still find out that it's not yours? Yes. <laughs> yeah. What, what I would do, I, I, would, I would let you sign a paper, sign an agreement. I would stop work if I'm working. And she mind all of us, I mean, by all the clocks, everything. And I, I have to eat more, I eat and everything. So different. And she have to take me, uh, not of course, I'm nickel. Carla. She have to mind, Carla. she have to mind three, right? It's a no. Keep on listening to the show, you hear me love? Come on, my phone, no. <laughs> you have some vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, find that now. She yeah. can't go where she get it. I mean, she yeah. know, it's no wonder that she go where she get it. Yeah. Okay, sir. So. <laughs> I think I'm right thing that to do. Yeah. <laughs> you, that's what you think, don't you? <laughs> every call my name when I care. You know, you say, every week you come on, mommy, so you have some story, you laugh to me, you cry. Oh. <laughs> All right, sir. <laughs> every call my name when I care. <laughs> so, so keep on listening, all right, to yeah. the rest of the show. Think he, the same every time. Uh, he's something else. We have, we have a caller on the yeah. 954 uh, good night, <laughs> caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Yeah, Cleo, this is Marvin. Hi, Marvin. Um, how you doing? How is I, wifey? I'm good. So, listen, I know somebody who that happened to. I, I would I have to think about it for a second. Yes. I Marvin, friend, keep that, man. Right? And <laughs> he and the girl married and, you know what I mean, living a life, whatever not. And uh, it's all, long story short, the girl, I him up getting pregnant and he had a little girl and everything. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't remember what happened that caused the guy to to really figure out, find out that the baby wasn't his. Right. And for my understanding, what the girl did was, because he said that she came on that one night, that she was one to that, one to that, one to that. And no matter what, he kept telling her, no, 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 she was one to one to one to And he said he ended up doing it and whatever not. And, you know what I mean? He's trying to say, he, he I think putting two and two together and said, okay, so being that she went up there, you know what I mean, that's another guy, got pregnant, came home, tried to ask him to, to just kill it on him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they, 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 end up, they end up breaking up and getting a divorce. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Now, if that happened to me, me personally, I, I honestly wouldn't even know what to do, honestly. Yeah, that's a real talk. I, <laughs> that I wouldn't really know what to do. But but I mean, it, after I, you've heard, I mean, I'm not doing something right at home for her to go out there and try to find it from somebody else. Yeah, but it, after same, you, the situation that they were in was that they were married. I mean, yeah, before they got married, they you know both Christian people they want to have sex before marriage. That that was the situation that they were both in. Oh, you know what I mean. So I guess she. Got kind of weird, man. So you know, whatever. And she went out and to do her thing. And it's so funny that she had that girl. And after she broke up, they got divorced. She went out him and got pregnant by another guy. Mm-hmm. And she had a boy. And she went back again and had another baby by another guy. That's and three babies. Was, yep, by three different guys. Okay. And it, it was it was so it was so messed up because you know. We all used to go to church together, you know what I mean? Everybody, oh. we, we even went to their wedding and spent all this money and this and be able to come big baby show and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. And come to find out that the baby wasn't, wasn't him. Wow. Boy, you know I, I, mean? I don't know what led to all those in- instances with her, but it's kind of unfortunate, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah. Because I, I, I thought about it, I'm like, I wonder how, how the guy mother feels to know she was so in, in, involved in the baby life and always having all this stuff happening. And, wow. I mean, and so I, how, I know another guy, another guy that it happened to, another guy. But it was so weird because this guy's dark skinned it. And this baby come out looking big. Like literally big. Like light, 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 light. Yeah? Right? And no matter how everybody says, my youth, that's not your baby. If you should do a DNA, man, it's my baby, da 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 da. My brother had kids, and that's how they come out light, too, because we have light people in the family. Okay, mm -hmm. dude. Know the difference between no difference between a black baby and a mixed baby. Yes. Are you not mixed? You're straight black. And the girl, like, the girl, like, you got, you know what I mean? He was married to, she's black. So you put two and two together, we always say, something ain't right, something ain't right. And, Come to find out the baby was really was his. But the, the thing about it is, he is like, because he was so involved in that child's life, up he, until this day, he's still involved with the child. Wow. And he still come pick her up, have birthday party for her. Oh, that's you know sweet. What I mean? Hang out at with what, her still. At like what he age did he life. find out? Huh? At what age did he find out that the child wasn't his? What What age was the child when he found out? Um, I think it was probably like one. Oh, okay. But after a yeah, year, because, you'd have really still bonded somewhat. Because, yeah, because everybody was saying, look, at the time you come from Jamaica, and the time she said she got pregnant, then, you know what I mean, put two and two together. Mm -hmm. Put two and two together and figure it out. But I can see they want to believe it until they found the DNA and prove that the baby really wasn't his. Yes. No. What that money thing? Yes. Um, that money part. You have to understand, you know, um, you can't really worry about what people are going to say about certain things you do. Now, a lot of people may say, yeah, she's stupid, whatever, not. But at the same point, she turned in the money, and look what happened. She getting, she getting to go to school. Yeah. If that was that test enough to say what you were going to do. Because, you know, you turn that money in, you're getting this, you can't go back to school. Get to go finish whatever you want to do. And yep. And had she whatever. not done that, I don't think that would have come her way so quickly, if at all. Yeah. And you know, for, you know, you you guys, you guys, you clear on most of the list. So you gotta realize, you know, we not. You can't really ask questions certain things. <laughs> you know, prestige, you know, prestige. <laughs> you guys know how prestige is, so you, you, you can't ask them certain things. My all is up on the real side. Just talk positive. <laughs> Not you. Sir, you ask him something and he gives you an answer. I don't know where they want you, don't it? He gives me, I tell you, he gives <laughs> it to me real all the time. Can I tell you? <laughs> real. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, you, you know, people, I don't, I don't know. Well, what do you do, Percy Dracula, if that happened to you? If, if we do, I find the money? If, you know, if, if, if your, your wife or her husband... Oh, he would put her no, out. She, she have to leave. He would put her out, but I... She have to leave. Even if I, even if I don't put him out, because maybe he's re, if he's really a good man, mm. I'm not going to mm. throw away a good man so easily at mm. all, but I'm not guaranteeing this man that I'm going to be mothering that child. Mm. I have no slim chance of me mothering that child. I swear it. She have to leave. Because I'm not, me not, me not going to have that feeling, that trust in her heart <laughs> no more. Uh, one last thing. Uh, first thing, I hear you say something... A couple weeks ago, he was on. Mm. We well, said that I always have good stuff to say about, about the, my relationship. Mm. But we gotta, we gotta understand enough. You see, when you know what six a female are, you don't do it. Mm. If you know your female don't, if you know your female don't like blue, why yeah. would you buy her something blue? Yeah, true. That's just, that's just me personally. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now, yeah, yeah. I go to we go to our turn down and stuff like that. But I know simple stuff that we can't even. Sit and, sit and talk about it. We don't go on Facebook and advertise. We don't Real get family and friends involved. We just issue results that between the two of us and that's it. Mm -hmm. Real yeah. talk. So you, you, you have said to me, you know, say, right? Right now, I ah. said to you, real talk. You're your wife, right? Living nice mm. and happily, right? Mm. Everything's smooth. And when you find out on the show, because some of the time still, you know, we don't know until, like, Years after, you know, because some of the time she, they, may, they may go there and get pregnant, but at the same time, mm. they, they, they know within themselves, I know my pitney. You get me? 
Yeah. Right? But at the same time, with them do, them bring that youth. So many times they show up just like we are say about this guy and XYZ. You get me? Because it's worried black and then when you look at a Chinese picnic come. <laughs> so we can know pipe blank right there. So but after rip if a two if if it's just a black baby, right? We take yeah. our complexion, it are hard to refine up on a level day until later on down the line, she feel a way within herself when the baby reaches two, three, four, and she has say, you know, um, mm-hmm. Ozzy, I went out there, you know, and and, and, and then you find out from me, so. Well, if, me sure, find off, if, me, if you find out from me, so what would you I do? Just, I just found out, maybe like a year ago, who my grandfather was. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, what would you do? <laughs> I mean, the I can do is just okay. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's too late now. To what? <laughs> my, dad just, my, dad, my dad is, what, 50 something years old, and he just... Just finding out now who is in that one. Yeah. I mean, what can we do? Yeah. What can oh, yeah. we do? What can we do? <laughs> You're already you know, attached to this you know, child prestige. Man, no, listen to me, man. Me not, in the case of the child being born, yeah. and you didn't know yeah. then, and you go, go have an attachment to the child. Yeah. You're already attached. Your daddy. Me she call he or she calls you daddy. I two thing about this now. Mm-hmm. Two things is gonna be about yeah, this with me. It's it, just it, one of them things. I mean, yeah. Some people can handle it. Some people. Want some people can. Right. To each his own. You, you're the man they tell you before. Yeah, yeah, to each his own. You know, most Jamaican man, the mouthfeller is not happening. She yeah. They're not having it. Most yeah. of them not having you it. Know, but then they yeah, want I to mean, bring the same babies that they get outside home to the woman. Well, that woman, now, please. If, if, yeah. if you, if that, if that child father's not in, in in her life, and you start father that child, and then later you find out. I mean, you the only father that child know. Mm. Exactly. You know I mean? yeah. Man, so, I don't have a problem with the child, you know. The child I don't have a problem with the child right there. No, unloved. listen to me. Yeah. Listen to me. You see, the, the, the mother, which is the wife, my yes. wife. She got to go. Yeah. I do I think mean, about yeah, it. You can, you can, she I do think about yeah, it. But at some point, if you're, the old, you're still in that child's life, I mean, let, let, you can't got, to be a father to the child. Yeah. Let, let's, let's hear what you think, what you, what you say about the wife, Prestige. Two things about it. Yes. Is she, does she have to go? Mm-hmm. Right? The child would love to know her father or his, or his father. Yes. You get me, I say? Is it that she have to go? Or I am going to be there, but I'm going to be a cheater. Okay. You get me? Got you, sir. Yeah. Because me not, I don't trust none no more. Okay. Simple as that. Me not gonna have no trust not her no more. So if we, 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 if if you want us to be together, living at the same house together, I am going to be a cheater. <laughs> May I tell you straight up? Okay. Make the child Fair know. Enough, yeah, make the child know, know her father, right? If it's a girl, unless she know her father, you get me? I say, because she need to. Real but talk. me not gonna just say well. You know, me not playing no role in her life, pan live there. But me she know her father because she know me when she a grow, right? right. You know, see, and me can't give her help and give her plan. But is it that she have to go? Or Are you going to steal I am and cheat? Go- I am going to be a cheater. I tell you that straight up. I mean, I have a love and a feeling of fear. Pan a live there no more. Okay, and I trust. sir. Marvin, we we lost Marvin there. Mm. Trust All me. right, thank you so much, Marvin. Yeah, you're a big for man sharing. said before. Yeah, you, you heard that big man said before. Big man said, listen up. I have to, I, I will stop work and she have to take care of me <laughs> and take care of the little I child. I told lick him out of his at two before. You get what I say, right. You know see? No, no. It, she it, have to take it, up the responsibility there? Yeah. Yeah, because she go, they go cheat. I, I hear you, sir. Yeah, but me now. And when you go cheat now, I must have stop work to then. Uno love, let me tell you now. Me asking love, you? No, no, Uno love youngster. If me can afford for you stop work, I can't stop. But Uno love <laughs> youngster. <laughs> We don't ah. love when time men go out there and then cheat. I don't have a little that thing there. We don't know if it does mother the child. We don't know how to do it. Oh, them? You don't see it, right? Oh, them do it. We don't know women in general. We don't know mother that little child. So that, 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 that love there. Grow up. Feel that little you. And I want to tell you something. I know yeah. women who have done it for you. Yeah. Call her. Good girl. night. Girl, girl. Yes. Please. Yeah. You know, so next thing the woman I gotta do, if you know, if you know, stop it, not carry the baggage. Next thing she moving the man, pay you. All of that too. 
Look here, not tell me foolishness. I don't lie. Yeah, yeah people, bro, when you say you're so easy. Yeah. They, 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 when you're vulnerable, they, 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 they so the advantage of your vulnerability. And the very same thing with the men, when it is that we women take in those babies and nurture the first one, you will get one second one and one third one. It happens both ways, Carla. You're too biased. No, no, I'm speaking for the men. I'm not speaking mm -hmm. for you. Yeah, you sound like daddy road. But you, you have, know to, defend, what? You have are, to defend the women. We're up on the 10.30 break. Thank you, Carla. Keep it locked to Real Talk, all right? Thanks so much. It's now 10.30. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. More when we return. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266 Extra, extra, read all about it. It's Fan Fusion Tickets. Yes, pre-sold Fan Fusion Tickets are now available at Styles FM Studio, 4 Barmuk Avenue, Port Antonio, YKS Pharmacy West Street, Touch Pharmacy West Street, La Best Sports Bar, Port Antonio. All Styles FM DJs have tickets as well. Morant Bay, Texaco. Also Universal Electrical and Plumbing Supplies. Wharf Road, Morant Bay, St. Thomas. For more information, call 518-2399. More ticket outlets coming soon. Planning a party? Club night out? Stage show? A gospel concert? Or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to the show, Vox Pop. We are discussing tonight. Boy, a very heated one. Uh, Winsome on the WhatsApp connection says, um, so how you want to play up, play to play up out there too and feel happy with it? Uh huh. You respect me, I respect you. We must learn to trust one another. That's what Mama Winsome says. Prestige, that's a capital lie, L-I-E. Let's see the other um, comments there um, as it relates to whether you could father an outside, well, a child that was had while you're in a relationship and the child came from somebody else. Uh, hell no, I would never mother that child because every time I see that child, I would remember how he cheated on me. Cache. Thank you, Cache. But the child, in a sense, you know, some will argue, don't it? Uh-huh, Vivian is locked in. She says hi to Prestige. Good night, Vivian. Good to have you. Kevin in Tampa, Florida, going to upset my spirit now, you know. Big up Kevin in him, Law of Africa. Every man should have seven women. Some place in Africa, it's unlawful for a man to marry one woman. Kevin, you're going to go to Africa, go live, you see? <laughs> All right. Um, well, Marcia, Prestige says, uh, Kim Moore in Sunning Hill locked in as well. I think um, 
someone else there had a comment. Mars, is it Mars there? Prestige, as soon as you get comfortable out there, okay, you're going to do it again. That is so true in many of the instances. All right, um, let's go back to the Vox Pop quick, quick, quick. Um, part two quickly says, if you deny your partner sex or any kind of affection for a period of two months or more or even less, and the partner get the sex or the loving or the affection elsewhere, whose fault is it? Not for your fault, man. I must fear your fault, you know. No question about it. If you are with the partner and, well, let me say your fault if it is that mm -hmm. the partner you're doing, if we are together and I'm not dancing, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm holding out. Mm -hmm. Must be a reason why I'm holding out on you. Mm -hmm. In some instances, it might be a case where you're not doing some things right. Yeah. You, you, you mess around, I'm aware of it. Yeah. I'm going to decide, say, oh, me, me not continually do certain things with you because you, you, you know, keep yourself safe. Yeah. I mean, I want you to put me at risk. Yeah. That could be a, a, a factor that make, made me decide to stop dancing with you. Yes. It, it could also be a case where, boy, the dance... No, no, we just get tired of it, it's boring. Mm -hmm. Get boring now. So we're not intrigued and enticed, enticed by that anymore. It also can be a case where you get better dancing out there too. Possibly the person could very well right? be better dancing. And me no know. Yes, that yeah. could be that could be one consideration yeah. consider um consider. And you come home. Consideration. You, you're not interested in my dancing no more. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it could also be that um me get impotent possibly yeah possibly there's so many things that could contribute to that you know yeah. so the she i'm not giving it up anymore yeah and you decide to go out there mm -hmm. and get it somewhere else mm -hmm. it, i think it's based on what caused me to not be giving it up mm -hmm. because if it is that you're treating me and you keep on a go, go go drink and come out drunk and beat me up mm -hmm. and me decide for all out on you mm -hmm. and you go to go get something else it's not my fault it's your fault yeah so it, it's based on the scenario that caused the person to have to go get it elsewhere mm -hmm. to begin with mm -hmm. if it is that you now come home at night time you don't roll too much and o'clock before the morning clearly we must assume you're with somebody else mm -hmm. so if it is that you're not coming home mm -hmm. to be with me i'm all in the bed alone crying with my head on the pillow and all these things every night basically when i do see you we live together you know but when i do see you god bless how often i see you mm -hmm. and if i go there now mm -hmm. go seek the attention or the, the 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 comfort from somebody else or i ended up getting it without even seeking it subconscious without even seeking it consciously i might subconsciously find a friend a confidant i can relate to and things develop in that case, if I go get something elsewhere, it's not my fault. It's your fault if you were doing what you were supposed to do no, as the man. No, no. That wouldn't happen. Yeah, but, but what about it if I am working, right? A 12-hour shift uh -huh. for about three months straight, right? Uh-huh. Because my shift change. I may work a 12-hour shift for about three months straight, right? I may work out at all. And when me come in, right? Because remember now, you know, I used to be in, say... Port Antonio, mm -hmm. but now I'm in yes, Montego Bay or uh, West Milan, yes. right? Real talk. And when me reach up, me tired, you know. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I know so I have to put in my work because when I was here, the work I put in all the time, right? Right. So now you know use your consideration and say, well, you know, he, he, he's tired. But at the same time, you are saying to yourself, say, me not busy with you, because I want my work because a long time you not see me. Yes, that's true. You not see it, right? That's All right. not me. I don't say that. I'm not lying. Yeah, yeah, and then no. You can give and take same tired years, but yeah. if you find time for me, a long right. time, you're not right. right. going right. to give a dancing. We put in a little one work, and then at the same one. time, yeah, we put in a little one work, and at the same time, I just sleep, and then I go away there, and then, you know, we say, well, okay, babe, you know, so we have, we, no, listen to me. Mm, I listen. You know, so we have three more months to leave the construction work, because yes. I also have belong there. Mm -hmm. You know, see it, right? I mean, make you know, and you know that, but at the same time, when me come up back, you're not too, too interested in me no more because you, you go out there and, and, and cut a little piece <laughs> with Tony. 
and we, we Tony give you Tony I give you straight from me they down there <laughs> and things nice they dance nice with the Tony you get me I say well, well you have some women who that happens to yeah and then you have some who will decide that so you whole half for me now they're not looking that direction yeah. they are whole half for me waiting yeah there are women who will say listen I'm gonna wait there are mm. women too who will say, if when you come back after all this time away mm. Mm. with with all the work we did at work, mm. and if you come back nice and sharp and proper, yeah. all is well. Yes. And then there are others who will say, eh, in down there work three months and now look for him come up with five on one Saturday mm. in fine man down there, mm. might get to him he used to get from me down mm. at West Milan yeah. too. Yeah. So, so there are so many things. Yeah, but may I go say to you say, babe? I'm going to explain to you now. I'm going to say, babe, listen to me. Sex is not all right now you know, because we are work some money. You get me? I say, True. Right? If you start out, if you start out, right? Yes. So now, you are saying to yourself, say, oh, you might tell me that. And in good down there, I get him groove on and I make the so and I wait like a fool. So your girlfriend never run at the background, you know, I influence you now and I tell you, oh, I can I get up in a few years now. You go mm-hmm. out there now, get involved with Tony. Get a little one piece from Tony. You know what I mean? The little dancing the nice. So, so that, that would be her fault then, that's what you're saying? Oh, you mean? Come here, you don't talk about it already. That would be your fault. So that when you, me come back now, mm-hmm. you will have for me now, you know? Can you say so? so? So so let me say, yeah. the fact that she is in need yes. of certain pleasure, yes. because that's a natural thing for man and woman. We have toys that work sometimes. So will we you get her a toy it. and leave it with her? Most, listen to me, all different sizes that, wore... yeah, and colors. <laughs> you get me? I say that simply means... And can, shape. Everything that means simply means say you will all right until me come back. <laughs> Can you get money a week time? Oh Lord. Every week you Once get your money. Once when you come back, the money looks like the one that the girl yeah. found in the bank. Be good. Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> Once your office so along yeah. my yard. No problem you about that. You can't find a time to come home. No. Come spend a, yeah. a day with me or half all right. A with day. the money part, no or problem a night about it. No problem about it. And yes, not going to take it and give it to Tony. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never yeah. do that. Uh uh-uh. uh Never you do yeah. that. If it is that you think you need to have somebody else, yeah. ladies, don't take the man's money mm. and give to nobody else. Okay. Uh uh-uh. uh. That would but, never but happen. But you 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 stick out. Uh, that's it. so. That is some of the main reason why them things are up more time, you know. Because communication is the key, you know. So me I say communication is the key. Mm. And some of the time, some of the time, you know, say. But at the same time, the money are coming. See, you know, if you take care of the bills, you man do everything. See, you know, make you say, well, I am working for you. So me I say. Mm-hmm. You don't see communication is key. But again, you have, to have some people that say, so him doing their work. And in can invite her to come down for one weekend. Mm-hmm. For stay in a in, in, in a little hotel or a little motel. Exactly, part, because in Goba Night time, 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 you don't know, work straight yeah. through the night you know, construction you have people that say them things at exactly. all. You get me I say, right? Real talk. So, yeah, yeah. Me, 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 me I reel up the thing tonight, you know. But on a certain mm-hmm. level, you know. Mm-hmm. Certain level. Certain level. Yeah. I hear so you. So I really top on myself to make you <laughs> smile. I feel good. <laughs> All right. Let's so. see. Let's see what the... Well, let's go to the last part that we hear from the Vox Pop. Um, quickly, Cassidy, we go to the last part of the Vox Pop today. Do you think if a person cannot satisfy another person's needs, it is, fear, it is a fair expectation for them, for the needy to remain loyal? You, you can't give me what I want. Mm. You know, I'm not feeling mm-hmm. the vibration, that energy there mm-hmm. where we need to mm-hmm. feel. Mm-hmm. We are coming back to the lacking. same thing again. Yes. The main but, but thing. But is it, is it fair yeah. for you to expect me to stay loyal to you when you can't if, deliver? If me, if me, if me, say for instance, if me impotent, we are used back already road there again, right? Uh-huh. Pan that level. You get me, I say, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, no point blank, say, right? You love your dancing. And... I know every woman love dancing. Right. You know, see, but you love your dancing as my fiance, right? Mm. Or my wife. You know, see it, right? But we never put the wife thing in like this. Because when you know the wife thing, people always say you, have, have, you make a, mm. a, 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 a commitment. You sign this on paper, you say this in front of XYZ. So you have to just live with that. You get me? I say, panel every day. But your fiance. And you and I live. And at the same time, when I do things for them time, and then if you don't know where, you can't do nothing no more. You know, see, because the wheelie really can't get to move and do what you do again. You just lie down and I sleep now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And 
you decide within yourself. Say, you know what? Can you talk to me, you know? And me have to go make that decision now, you know? Yep. Me have to go make that decision. I mean, I go stay in a house with you and tell you, say, listen to me, no, baby, I can do what you want for you, you know? If you want to bring John come in here, I do what you want for you, know? I don't have a problem with that. You're not doing that. You know, see, me not going to do that. You know, see? How are you, you going to tell her? Eh? We're going to tell her. You there can't manage, diff- you can't many, do certain are, things. There are many different ways. We, 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 we can't enhance our she, relationship. And if she, she goes out there and you yeah. have to find out, you're going to put her out the same way. Well, when I when I you not me, can't me, deliver. We have we have to go talk about that panel every day. Trust me, because me know so you need. Yeah, me know your needs. You know what I mean? Right. I feel and in fulfill. all fairness, you can't fulfill it. Yes, you know what I mean. I me can't fulfill it. You know see it. You know, right? Me me can't fulfill certain things, but otherwise, other than that, you gonna need other things too. Would you prefer if she goes? Yeah. Before she do what she have to do, or if she stays and do it, you can not try and work with it because you know so you can't fulfill it. How would you say, you know what? If you know so you can't, so on, so on, so this is the situation I'm in. And if you know that I cannot satisfy you the yeah. way you want to be satisfied, yeah. not, just, not just sexually, you know, yeah. otherwise, yeah. then, you know, it's basically go on, you know. Yeah. Because I'm not going to deal with you staying and doing your thing out there. Well, satisfy you. Otherwise, me can't satisfy you. Otherwise, you know, but sexually, that may I talk about. Okay. But otherwise, me can't deal with that. But sexually, it will be a problem. You get me? On that level there. So, we're going to sit down and we're going to talk. It, me I feel that way within myself, right? For no so well, you're there with that individual. And I do what I do. You get me, I say? And then at the same time, you come back home. You take a shower. You lie down beside me and you sleep. You get me, I say, right? <laughs> a whole part thing I run through me head. It's crazy. It's crazy. A whole part thing I run through me head. You know, see? Because me can get an erection now for do what I want to do with you. And then you go you get all your niceness from Tom. And me, you can come lie down beside me and I cuddle with me and I look with me. I'm not going to feel good with himself. Well, is, is it conscious? You have to go selfish? in one room, I mean, the next room. Is it selfish if she. for you to expect her to not do anything? Yeah. Selfish of you? Yes. Okay. Yeah, me I'll be real with that. Yeah. Yeah. But again, too, I don't mind if you do what you do, I don't know. Okay. Just do what you do, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Antoinette in Ducken, Annette rather in Ducken's feel, Ducken feel St. Thomas. Good night, guys. I always listen to your program and enjoy the real talk. Big up every time. Big ups to you, too, Annette for locking in tonight. Remember the phone lines are open. Four, five, six, eight, sorry. Eight, seven, six, four, five, three, one, triple, four, or nine, five, four, three, three, eight, seven, nine, seven, three. Cassidy, back to the box pop quickly. Um, is it selfish? Is it selfish of you, um, you know, to deprive the person? And is it fair an expectation for the needy to remain loyal? Some women who are abroad and their men are in Jamaica will tell their men that they know that they're going to need satisfaction and they give them the okay, so to speak, to go and have fun. But they tell them, mm-hmm. make sure you put on. Mm-hmm. Or condom. Yeah. Or they might want to dictate the kind of woman that he's allowed to go to. Yeah. Because she is like, these women are saying they're realists. Whether they're even abroad or they're right there with the man. Mm -hmm. They are realists. Mm -hmm. And they tell themselves that I know that I'm not the only one he's going to look at. You'll see other women. Mm-hmm. You'll find other, find other women e- exciting. You might want to be with other women, but I what? know it's coming back home to me. Why a, why a woman would that really tell me that as I, a man? Why you as I, my I wife or my girlfriend would that tell it, me it, it that? It varies. It yeah. varies maybe. What would be they, the problem for you come to me and tell me that? I don't know if it's a problem so much, you know, but mm-hmm. for them, I guess they're saying, in my head, it's all mm-hmm. about the mind, you know. Yeah. In my head space, 
I don't want to stop to think that maybe he is. Yeah. Or I wonder if he is. Because me, 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 me just tell you now, I can't tell you again, you know, why I would tell you that. Because I would say I am impotent. And you know that. Yeah, but, yeah, but saying, why there would are you? women. Yeah. But there are women who have no issues of that nature you with the enough, man. You just have enough feelings for me? Not like that? No. The women are with their men and they love their men. There are women yeah. who will tell the other partner straight up. Yeah. Even that. though the man, the man has satisfied her? Yes. And, and, and tell him... She with him. It's like there are some women, I don't know what it is, yeah. what kind of kicks. Yeah. They get out of it. Yeah, me know but that. But it's happens. like to know that... It's just like he you go can singers go, club. To know that he can go out there mm. to another woman. Yeah. As hot and sexy and attractive as she yeah, is, yeah. even more than she yeah. at home, and come, and and come back talk, to her, and let them talk about it. Her her yeah, a unique feeling. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. That's what some women will attest. It's just like going to a sw um, swingers club. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you just inside there, and, and, and there, then, you know? there are women on the other hand who will just say, "Look, I know you need other." You know, I know you like that woman. Mm. You find her attractive. Mm. Maybe she stimulates you. Mm. It's fine. Be mm. with her. Mm. That's good. Mm. There are women who are like that. Yes. And then there are others who, if the man and she go out, mm -hmm. or if the man even go out by himself, and she discover, say, a friend of hers saw him in the club gyrating, just dancing, mm. and another female, she is ballistic. She goes crazy because it's like she feels threatened that how dare him be there dancing with this other woman? He must have had an interest in, in her mm -hmm. to, to be dancing with her. What if they exchange numbers? To me, it's all about up here, so. Yeah. Because if you rest assured that, look, my, my husband gone out. Yeah. I'm a no say, cha, him gone a party with him friends them. I was him bridging them, not one thing, not depth on the thing. In your head, you have that as a woman, that's what you're going to hold on to. At the same time, you could very well be right. So you don't think enough way to? Hold on, no? Yeah. Okay. You, you, you could very well be, be right that that's all he has done. But at the same time, too, it could be a case where you're saying that's what he did, but probably he's now in Sarah's house mm -hmm. under the sheets. Mm -hmm. I tear the place down. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Yeah. And you think that he's just where he said he's going. Mm -hmm. So it's all about that level of comfort that you put in your mind. Mm -hmm. And if it is that a woman has never cheated and a man sees her and knows that she has always been faithful, sometimes somewhere in the back of his head, he might say, boy, I wonder if she really, really has been faithful to me all this time. Mm. Sometimes, sometimes you have a man might say, no, man, it's not possible. Mm -hmm. At some point in time, she must go do something. Yeah. You understand? So yeah. it, it, it's all about an individual and their, their mind, state of mind, the level of trust, the level of relationship that they have and have so, built. So what I say, you, you, you think every... Women are most women in life cheated. Cheating or I've I've cheated. Cheated before. I don't know if I can say everyone. No, I know me not say every. Almost. I can't say that. Yeah. I have no stats most to prove women. that. I can't have. I can't prove that. I can't say that. Most. You can't say that. Can't say most. Hmm? I'll, I'll be making the an, average. I'll be making an educated guess. The average. Some, at some, some at some point in time have, yeah, yeah. for various reasons. Yes. And I, can, I guess the same is true for the men. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We don't cheat. So, we don't cheat. So, so no come up with no cheat. We're just unfaithful. No, we just go take a piece. So, are the same with the woman? Are two, no, man. Are the same with we the woman? Cheat because when, when, because when the, what? When you no cheat, right? Let me tell you, cheating comes with lies. So, no cheat. <laughs> <laughs> we just go take a piece. You know what? I, I don't oh know. boy. <laughs> well, we go to the box <laughs> pub um, from the words on the street. Well, it all depends on the situation and how hungry I am about it. Well, so for instance, I wasn't really attending to his sexual needs that he went out and got this child. Well, maybe then I would... um. If you bring the child home, yes, baby, then I will look after the child. But if him go out, if everything is all right, to my knowledge, and him go out and get the child the same way, 
Well then, what if I question it? If you want to push, get this fitting with it. Because um, I want to push it and take and give her son, don't you? Yeah. And the woman must be look after her if she spend time and have sex with him. She can spend time and look after her fitting too. Yeah. But I have a problem taking care of another child anyway. That's not mine. Because the child would be innocent. And for, like, for his, if the man wants something but we really can't attend to, I had a partner once, we tell him point blank, say, look here, this tree is something asking for me not giving it to you. Say, if I want it, I can go ahead and go get it wherever, but I won't be involved in it because when I really want a woman to touch me. So when I really have a problem, if the man won't go, go get him, him kicks on. When I really have a problem with it, I think I'm going to do it. Talking about people denying people sex is not about that. What if you're in a distant relationship or what if your job come in a your relationship? You must remain loyal to each other. No, because uh, the sex ego, yes, ego, did it. But what make you go make your sex drive, mash up and come between your, your relationship and break up? That's foolishness and that's we had too much in this, these um days and age where we are living now. We don't have no loyalty for each other no more. That's why the relationship them now go nowhere then just fall apart because we're not loyal to each other. For me, it, but if me de, me de this, me live, me de, me live here so me have to go far for work. What if me can't come home? What if um something else happen where you have to go away and you can't be home? Okay, you're going to make that because of that you get disloyal to your partner. That's what make we know we don't have no more loyalty. We don't have no love. It's not love. These relationship nowadays is just all about what each other can do for each other and that's why make we have so much broken relationship and that's why the world to this day so because we are so much picnic yeah, so picnic there so for this or somebody because we this we no desire to be loyal to each other and that's why mashing up society so bad well and this part now for me the, and the satisfying part well if you'll find somebody that satisfy you well you go be discomfort because you go want satisfaction in your relationship and if you're in a one relationship and you're not satisfied, you still go fall short. So you still go look, be looking somewhere else. So if the person can't satisfy you, me not think you're fist down in it and so far. Me not believe in that. That is the part me not go agree with. I'm not going to agree with that part. Eh? Yes, because you're not going to remain faithful and loyal because guess what? You're not get your full satisfaction. So for me, me not believe in that one. No, me not believe in that one. You better you move away where you get satisfied satisfaction and you're satisfied and that's it but for um being a hit and being a unfaithful to the other person it don't make no sense real talk well for me if me have my relationship and my man go outside of my relationship go get a child he have to mind the child but for me the child can't come to my place, come in and take care of that picnic day. Me sorry, the picnic innocent, but me no have nothing to do with him because the anger the way go dinner me. For the picnic mama, every time I see the picnic go there, they in my face. So me now go look take care of that child, none at all. Real talk. I'm not going to take my child, I'm not going to take my child business. So, you have a child, 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 you Want your child. You're out there, but anyway, but when it's anyway, catch a cold, you go there and blow your nose, so go on right back to her with your child. Well, my view is that if you deny the partner for two months, you shouldn't deny your partner, but if whatever the, the reasons you deny your partner, no, you're not supposed to go out there, or she not supposed to go out there, have no sex with an outside person, you're supposed to come and talk to me and, and let her work it out. And for the other part, you no. Know, if um, if the person can't satisfy, you, no, know, talk to the person, make the person work. Tell them what what satisfy you, and make them work, work, work on it. You know, work on it. So if if you even tell them if you do X or do Y, I'm making work on it. And then if you go, they got cheat. I don't think so. No. Welcome back to Real Talk, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just share with you. Prestige made a speech that I think Lady Cleo would have been the one to make on a normal day with Daddy Rude. Prestige said, imagine how he's supposed to deal with the fact of seeing you, seeing his lady pregnant, knowing that he's a man without a bigger willy. That female, that caused her to get pregnant. 
Aunt. He rum festy. Real rough. <laughs> but as I said before, you're not clear, right? <laughs> um, on break. Oh, Half God. year. Right? Oh. It, 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 it easier for your relationship, right? Continue running. When the man go out there and get a youth, right? Because the man not have to carry the youth. Come home, you know. You see me I come from? Mm. Yeah. I hear you. But, but my wife have to carry the youth come home because of the she live. And the belly is And, and the belly is going to be there. Right. Right? And me I guess that's what uh, yeah. one of our texters was saying earlier yeah. on too. Yeah. So it, 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 the relationship, we flow that way that if me go out there and get someone is pregnant, right? But not for charm though. Not for charm. Eh? Not for charm. <laughs> no, not for charm. <laughs> you know, see? And then, you know, because my wife, me, I say, oh, you can't, can't have come at me also, you know? I don't want you to bring that little you come at me also, you know? You just make it straight for the mother there. But the mother, but, the child has a mother. Right. But my wife now would be the mother for that man child. And I also mean living at where she live. Okay. And it's going to be a problem. Painful. Oh, you mean? We have a caller on the 954. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Yes, uh, Cleo. Yes. Um, based uh, on what Percy just said about that, that whole thing, right? Yes. You know, it's so funny because... um. Me and my homegirl, we were chilling the other day, and uh, we saw what happened to us looking at the, the little Playboy channel. Mm. And they had that same little, um, what do I think, the little tourist club thing going on. Yeah. Right? And the, the dude and his wife was there, and I guess because the wife was dancing with another guy that was, I guess, way better than him. So he got all mad and, and, and walked out the room. So it was so funny how Percy said that because. That's a conversation that I always even had with my wife. I said, if people to cheat on me, cheat with somebody who's 10 times better than me, not somebody who's worse. <laughs> <Right? laughs> and it, 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 will mess with, it will mess, really mess with your mind, for real. To know your, your wife out there dance with another man who is probably better than you, bigger than you, and... But, yeah, but, I mean, but, stuff like that really mess with your mind. Like, really, really mess with your yeah, mind. Yeah, but Marvin... Yes. Okay, you just said, all right, so if, if uh, some men might, might say, if you're going to do whatever, make sure it's somebody who is quote-unquote better than me. Now, yeah. if she were to go to somebody who happens to be bigger, better, that, that way better, in terms of size, wouldn't he still have an egotistic problem right there? Because to know that, oh my goodness... I am uh, three inches, four inches at most, or seven inches on, on erect. And mm. this man is a nine, ten inches, and he got her pregnant. Don't you mm. think that is going to be a worse effect on you as a man? Listen, I would, um, emergency room would not pick me up right then and there. <laughs> you know me, I have high blood pressure on my heart, no good. Nope. Oh, Your heart's string of that burst. I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't, I wouldn't practice with that one. I couldn't handle that one. Yeah. No, 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 no. Can no, you no. imagine? You have your nice, nice wife. And you know your nice, nice wife. And then, imagine, you know, you leave her, so you leave her a certain, a certain tightness. Yeah. And you go back, and you drop down in there. No, mm. you're crazy. It no. doesn't work like that. No. It does not no. work mm. like that, Marvin. Mm. No, 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 I'm not, no, I'm not saying, I'm not saying. Okay. <laughs> what would I worry about? When would I worry about? Because me already hear about this man. Because we sit down in, in a few entertainment place and I have a drink and me, other man I discuss, and other people, other girls I discuss about this man. I say, boy, I don't know why I'm not with this man no more. Because, you know what I mean? This man is, you know what I mean? Endowed. Yes. So, and me, I go, I worry myself and I fret both for my wife, you know. You get me? I say, because the pressure we she got under. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep. When me not put her on a knee, that the pressure there before. But, <laughs> the, and this is one thing. That's it, this is one thing. And then she come out with baby. The she is. Yeah, man. Because, <laughs> because you see my, you see my wife. Yeah. She cannot keep this here for her life. Yeah. She cannot. Like, if anything she do, this is, you see because she knows the type of person I am. So anything she do that she knows she's not supposed to, I yeah. can't just bother her. Like. Literally. Oh, mm. that's good. Literally. Yeah. 
But I could not handle that. Look. <laughs> and then I can imagine, can imagine then when she got to that now, they made her a dance. And they're looking at her feet, no? Yeah. Thank you. I can't manage it. Yeah, but prestige, yeah. what is it? The thing that even messed up, what is she going to call you that guy's name? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> prestige have a no, small <laughs> stroke. <laughs> yeah. What is she going to call you by that guy's name by mistake? Yeah. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Man. Relationship with a mess up, man. I would, have, I would have to literally break divorce that one. Relationship with a mess up. Yeah, mm-hmm. that would be good. That would be, that one. Most yeah, men hot. couldn't deal with that pregnancy none at all. Most men could mm-hmm. not. Yeah. Guys, she call it my name, see you later next, but that simply means she's still interested in it, man. Uh, I mean, if me did, I worry myself. And if me did, I worry myself, I think about the pressure where she go underneath and see she's still a call at my name. Ah, <laughs> you know what, Marvin, thank you. Thank you. Go with you. Go with you. Oh, good. <laughs> All right, my dear. I tell you. Oh, right. my goodness. <laughs> the things that drive men crazy, yeah. boy, it's just yeah. amazing. Yeah. Very, very. I think you. I don't think, that, think you guys' minds are wired way different from ours. Them, them things there. Th- that is one of the things that drive men crazy. Yeah, man. You get me because brains are wired me, differently me, from ours. Me with the year now, right? I mean, no, my wife. You know, see, I mean, my wife. I enjoy for herself and I do what me I do, right? I mean, did it with my little seven inch, and I take time. I do it thing nice and easy, right? And. She did it and you know, maybe it's only like a sauna and then like weird when certain like a position. Nice. You know what I mean? I mean just feel nice. Then now me hear say she a deal with Tony. And me don't hear the conversation about Tony already, where some woman talk and some woman left Tony because of XYZ and Ray 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 with film, you know what I mean? Numbers. <laughs> yes, I mean I say? And in the way up in I ten level. <laughs> right? And then me you say my wife get involved with him. And thickness and all And these then me say come. I mean, I said, I didn't have that pressure that she got on eat to get pregnant. Oh, God. <laughs> you was in the prestige yeah. face, ladies. Oh, no, my goodness. Say. No, sir. <laughs> uh-uh. Relationship with uh, the panda. You got it on a rocky, 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 rocky level. I think, I think it should end. Rocky level. I think you could handle it. No, sir. You could handle and it. And then, again, at an incident <laughs> where we bled out and him name I mentioned again. I was saying to myself, say, no, sir, that means that she must love that. She must love that. Yeah. Or she was really affected. Yeah. Uh, she must love that man. Strongly by that. So it comes like, say, no, I don't have a chance more. I don't have No. Yeah. And worse, baby come. It's kind of dark. More than dark. Some men wouldn't even live, wouldn't even allow the baby to even, they, they wouldn't want to see the you baby. Know, you tell you, man. you know, you tell you, man. She you, got to go to the east and yeah. then go to the west. I tell you, 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 and one of them is, me know me go cheat. Real talk. Yeah. I hear you, sir. Me say that, me hear know you. me go cheat. Say this, a prestige calm I shouldn't calm use down. the word cheat. Because, me just I use the word cheat with you. <laughs> me I go to go play. Prestige, yeah. calm down, say this, say yeah. And of course, man, your heart string burst. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, yeah. we, we had a call coming in on the 954 just now. All right. We do have the lines open still. So if you feel the need to call or to share we appreciate local number eight seven six four five three one four 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 oh my goodness <laughs> and of course the overseas line is nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three yeah all right um we want to close out of the Vox Pop for tonight. We want to thank you so very much for sharing in the Vox Pop with us. Appreciate it to the fullest. And keep listening in each time, each week, we do the Vox Pop and we get your views. And feel free when you get the Vox Pop to leave that, send that voice note, right? So you can, you can share the varied views of all those who are interested. And I want to say, right. um, I want to say good night to Nova, um, yeah. up there in Illinois, and um, Marcia in South Carolina. Yeah, and uh, what's her name? Oh, she not log in tonight. Um, mm, what's her name again? One of them loyal listener. You know, Vivian. Good night to you up there in. Uh, 
St. Thomas. Annette, Dawkinsfield family, good night. Ah, I forgot her name. Yeah? Yeah, which, always. Which, where is she? Uh, Remember the state? Da, da, it will come back to the you. The brain no work <laughs> right now. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All right. Uh, mm. We have an article here for you from Love Panky. Your guide to better love and relationships. Now, this um, issue is one that I would love for all the people who know someone who is like this to feel free to share. I don't think we have looked at this particular issue. And I know it's a real issue because there are people out there who are like this, who mm -hmm. can be described as this topic that we'll be looking at, this article. And I really would want to hear more views from persons who have had such an experience. So if it's a man who has had an experience with a female or a female who has had an, who has had an experience with a man like this, please, I dare you to call or to text us and share your story tonight. It says, how to spot a compulsive liar. You know, um, seven signs it's time to walk away. A compulsive liar. You know, you have some people, mm -hmm. male and female alike, mm -hmm. who... They just lie without reason. Like the president of the United States. <laughs> they just they, they just lie without even realizing sometimes that they are lying. And when they even do know that it's a lie, sometimes some of the times mm. they mm. speak and they know it's a lie, but they just continue anyway. Because, I don't know, I think it's a sickness, a disorder. Mm -hmm. It could very well be a disorder where, for example, you have friends. You and Cassidy are friends. Mm -hmm. And Cassidy might be from a humble beginning. So are you, Mark, you. And, you know, you probably went away for a while and got a little bus, you know, you get a little job of firing and you go up on a six-month program. And when you come back, after your first trip or your second trip, you're now telling Cassidy about one lifestyle. And you're so convincing with the story that Cassidy sits there listening to you and believing every single word of this lifestyle, this posh, expensive lifestyle that you're talking about when it's all only in your head. No, no, let me tell you about them, them, lie, them people that will tell them kind of lie. Me and you, only in a conversation. Mm -hmm. Right? They never been to this place before, but they want to come in at the conversation too. And they just tell a lie. <laughs> you get me? It. Just to come in the conversation. And Seriously? all of a sudden. Yeah. There are and they just tell lies. Tell you, li yeah. tell you how much money they have at them in the bank account or in them house. You, you didn't even ask them any questions about these things. Because they just want to come in the conversation or they just want to just come and just tell you a lie. Feel big. And just feel big. There are people I know mm. who tell lie on other people. Yeah, people tell lie to live. Bl blatantly just tell a lie on somebody because they, it makes them feel good and people will look at them and like give them some stripe. You have men who tell lies on women yeah. that they have been with women just to get stripe on them shirt or on them shoulder. You have people who tell lie because of their career. Yeah, but I, I understand everybody yeah. from time to time will tell some little white lie. I'm not talking about a little white lie where you tell where, boy, you know, look at jam and your feel say, you have to just say, um, so did you go to the, 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 the office to get the thing for me? Me think me one of the most honest person from this land. Can me not, 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 me Nice, what do you mean? Me I tell you. Prince, did you just talk with a girl? Did you just talk with a girl? I think that's called a lie, honey. No, 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 no. no. Oh, you can't mix up a lie. We talk with a girl. Look here, no, people. Hey. Prince, did you give me a hard stroke tonight? Look here. Let me go to the article. Yes, sir, because by Julie, it's done by Julie Keating. And why is this? I'm seeing all kind of plain, plain air, air fear and stuff. Tickets. I guess I'll be getting one. I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right. So it, it's, it's, it's those 
ways to com- to spot a compulsive liar. Mm-hmm. And it says seven signs it's time <coughs> sorry to walk away. So when you see your you've come across a person like this, mm-hmm. and if it is that you're in a relationship with them and you discover mm-hmm. that they are that compulsive liar, mm-hmm. these are some signs you can use to walk away. Whether it's from a social friendship or an intimate one, you have to decide whether or not you can live with they have to be in the, the spotlight they, they, at all times. Yes. You can live with the repercussions of hanging around somebody who mm-hmm. is like that. Because mm-hmm. in my view, that person could very well put you in a whole lot of trouble as mm-hmm. the years mm-hmm. go by. Yeah. Your life could end up being at risk. Yeah. You know? So you have to think carefully. The compulsive liar doesn't just tell the occasional white lie. Mm. They lie with the intent to twist and turn reality and leave you questioning you. Yeah. So you're asking yourself the questions about yourself. Mm-hmm. Because when they're done with you, you don't even know your head from your foot too tough. Because you don't know what to believe of all the years you've been together, where the lies were, which parts were true. You, it leaves you questioning who you really are. Mm-hmm. We all have habitual behaviors that might not serve us very well up front. But if we didn't gain some benefit from them, we surely would find a way to undo the cycle. A compulsive liar is someone who habitually lies. They lie about everything without thought or remorse. Me can't deal with someone like that. When most of us lie, we do so either to get out of something or to not hurt someone's feelings, yeah? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, white like this. Mm-hmm. But for the compulsive liar, there is no rhyme or reason why they perpetually don't tell the truth. As if allergic to just saying what is real, they twist and turn reality to further whatever their cause is. That person is sick, in my view. Lies are like digging in the sand. Once you start digging, the hole begins to fill up, which leaves you constantly trying to dig yourself out. For most of us, that leaves us feeling bad and uncomfortable. But for someone conditioned to lying, it comes so naturally. It is like breathing. Wow. We no ever want to reach a place where feel my lies become like I am breathing. Because you breathe in every couple of seconds and breathe out. So, and then you have people who, when the lie catch up on them, they tell one more lie to mm-hmm. get out of that lie. Mm-hmm. And the person, and then people who are gullible, you see, and slight, and what I'm call slight and fool fool, and believe everything that people tell them, they can be the greatest victims of mm. pathological or compulsive liars. Mm. This becomes because normal they to know them. know that, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's normal to, the, to the, the person lying yes. all the time. Yes. And then once they catch somebody in their web yeah. and that person believes in them, then they, become, they just feed it. Yes. They feed that yeah. desire to keep on lying. Lying. So you have to know and mm. assess, ask questions, analyze. Test the person too. And people like these, <coughs> right? Compulsive, compulsive liars like these become <coughs> can man. Oh, yes. A can lady. Oh, yes. You get me? Mm-hmm. You know? Because they always have to tell lie. Lie. F- 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 they don't tell lie to get themselves out of trouble and I want to meet them, you know? You get me? I say, them try, they tell lie for always want, yeah, for want things. Right? And at any and means necessary, up, they'll and, get and it. And f- yes, and for big up themselves, put themselves up that certain status. You see me? I say, Right? This is what they steal. And they have to wake up every, they wake up every morning. They come and go in bed and just dream. You get <laughs> me saying? So they get up in the morning and the first and thing they say, what other lie they're going to tell next? Thank you, Lord, that I wake up this morning to tell some more lies. <laughs> yeah. Here we go with those seven signs. Seven signs someone close to you is, com- the comp- is compulsive liar. Being with a compulsive liar leaves you questioning... Jo- Okay, I got that part already, sorry. Sign number one. Mm. 
Okay, I think I'm jumping the gun there. Spotting the compulsive liar is not an easy thing to do. They don't want to be spotted. If your inner voice tells you something isn't right and things are amiss, listen to it. It is almost always right. So that inner voice, when it speaks to you, in most cases, it's right. Some people go off on the par um, paranoia state because they think on certain things too much. But most times your inner gut tells you something, it's most times always right. So number one, how to spot this liar. They tell lies about everything, like everything. That's the first point. The compulsive liar is so conditioned to lie in an unreal world of lying that they are opposed to telling any truth at all. They're so comfortable with the lies mm -hmm. that telling the truth <clears throat> And feel like them, them, something wrong with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. While most of us lie to get out of a bad situation, save someone's feelings, or cover for someone else, the compulsive liar lies about everything. They are the type of personality where if they say, if they said the sky was blue, you would look up to check. <laughs> uh, habitual behavior. They lie just because they don't want to break their pattern. Mm -hmm. Something as mundane as, did you eat lunch? Will be met with a no. Even if you saw them eating through the window, they simply can't tell the truth. It is as if they're adverse to anything factual. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Number two, they become very angry when questi questioned. One of the ways that the compulsive liar lives with their conscience is by convincing themselves that they are not, all, they, that they are not only right, but if they even admit to lying, they are justified in doing so. My goodness. I know somebody like that. Even when they're wrong, mm -hmm. they believe the lie that they are not wrong to the point where they justify everything, mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Even when it makes no sense, yes. even when they you know, say a full system attack, them just still are safe. They are mm -hmm. still they, holding on to that point and defending it. Yeah. Crazy. If questioned, it sets them off on a tirade to divert what is really going on. True. Throwing anything into an argument to confuse you further. They make sure to leave you feeling guilty about calling them out, even if they lied. In the end, you end up feeling bad that you call them a liar, so you learn to just deal with it. So when they're done with you, you feel so bad. They twist and they turn the whole situation right back on you, when in fact they were the one who made a mess. Mm -hmm. of something by lying about it in the first place. Very manipulation, manipulative. Three, they lack a conscience. That's what I thought too. There is normally some underlying pathology, pathology behind the compulsive liar. It isn't just the lying that ruins the people around them. It is the reasons that they lie. Compulsive liars use their lies to manipulate you, make you feel crazy, or to make you feel guilty for not trusting them. Can you imagine? Mm. Often, compulsive liars have an underlying mental illness. Amen to that. Like sociopathic and narcissistic tendencies. Yeah? Which allow them to tell mistruths. Mis without feeling badly. When the average person tells a lie, there is something inside of them signaling them that what they did is wrong. For the compulsive liar, there is no moral compass guiding them. Jesus. So they just do what they do and never look back or consider who they hurt. Number four, they change their story ten times without batting an eye. Mm -hmm. A compulsive liar is no newbie. They perfected lying to such a degree that they twist and turn and make everything seem perfectly reasonable 
make everything seem perfectly reasonable, unreasonable. <laughs> if you try to question them, they have no problem changing their story about 10 times, never admitting that they alter what they are saying. Turning it back on you, it is like walking through a maze. Each time you think you cornered them, they find a lying way out, which leaves you exhausted. Five, they are their best interest. Many liars are people who lack empathy and the ability to see how their lying ways affect the people around them. They're not here. Mm -hmm. Since they lie purely for their own benefit, whoever gets hurt is just collateral damage. They are the type of people you simply can't touch. They don't care if you cry or beg. They simply don't care about anyone or anything but their best interest. If you think that you can change a compulsive liar, you can't any more than you can change a sociopath. So deeply, in, so deeply ingrained, they don't even see the error of their ways. Number six, they are nearly impossible to have a relationship with. One of the cornerstones of any relationship is trust. If you can't trust the person you are with, there is no way to have a loving and supportive relationship. The compulsive liar disappoints you at every turn, which you dismiss up front. In the end, it completely destroys everything you know is true, leaving you a shell of yourself. They literally take you, your insides out and leave nothing but a but bottomed out alternative. Seven, their little lies in the relationship turn into big ones. Compulsive liars typically start with the smaller lies that seem to be no big deal at all. As time progresses, you see that really nothing they say it's true. To the compulsive liar, truth is like kryptonite. So the more involved you get, the more in-depth their lies become. And the more intricate web they weave. One lie building off of another. It becomes a black hole of despair for those in love with a compulsive liar. Compulsive liars are not people who lie just once or twice. They make an entire life out of avoiding facts. If you think you'll change them, you can't and you won't. Whatever benefit they gain from lying far outweighs whatever they gain from being honest and truthful. Hmm. Whether it stems from an underlying mental illness, poor upbringing, or just a very weak moral compass, matters not. The compulsive liar takes all that you are and leaves an empty shell. Oh my goodness. Ugh. That person would literally drain me. Nisha Roland in, in Nisha in Roland's field said, Yeah, clear. Me agree with number six. Oh my god. <coughs> Sadie says, never meet him. But the way how him talk and pronounce the word lie. Take away yourself. <laughs> Lady Grace, prestige. I see him some my uncle used to say. Him only talk when I go so. <laughs> oh my goodness. So number six, she says she likes, and she, or she agrees rather, they are nearly impossible to have a relationship with. I totally agree with you on that one, darling. Because they, they won't even probably be in it because they love you. 
They're just going to tell you what you want to hear. Compulsive liars normally tell people what they really want to hear and what makes them feel good to tell you. Right? Even if it make, makes you cry or makes you smile, once it's a lie, they're good to go. Um, we were wrapping up on number seven. Um, the only way, okay, closing off, the only way to deal with a compulsive liar is to walk away. If they are truly ever going to change, it won't happen by you sticking around, confronting them, or putting yourself through hell trying to get down to the truth. Plain and simple, that's a real talk. All right? So, do your thing. If you know you're with one, please decide what it is that you really need to do. Because you can't be constantly be living a lie now, can you? Yeah? All right, it's now 11.30, guys, and the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick around. More Real Talk after this. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Hello? Yes, Santi. Forward with the story. Munchi, me know say you know usually have credit but me talk quick. Me say, one piece of excitement a sister through the wedding. She would end up there there with like figuring bash. Auntie, Auntie, take time. Me have Digicel unlimited talk. So me have unlimited time for the sauce. Digicel have unlimited talk? Yeah, girl. Get unlimited talk to any network on all plans starting as low as $150. Conditions apply. Digicel. So where you said the word never keep? Clifford Guest House. Sponsor of Metamorphosis on Monday nights from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight with Dr. Iman Black. Located at 15 Queen Street, Port Antonio, that's Ditchfield Hill, they offer accommodations for up to one month. Call them at 285-0610 for more information. Business operators, local and overseas, this announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876 518 2399. Styles FM, the world listens. This is Jati, the Reggae Ambassador. Join me this and every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Right here in Styles FM 961, 965, 967 for the Tony Larvan show in style on style. We're gonna eat you off that G spot at 3 o'clock. We've got the collector's edition with Twin Spin. Inside Music Biz with Teddy Ledley. Enough, enough niceness. Right here in Styles FM. This and every Saturday from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. You got it? Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call. Text and now WhatsApp 518 2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518 2399. 518 2399. Don't forget 518 2399. 
native audio stage and lighting. Now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. All right, hooking up our friends on the Facebook Live. Shout out to all y'all who are out there texting in and sending in those messages. I'm not able to see the names from this angle, but let's see it on the bigger screen, Cassidy. Our friends on the Facebook Live connection locked in. Um, let's just shout them out quick, 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 quick. So earlier we had Anthony locked in. Um, it's not coming up. I don't know what happened there. All right. Um, but all our friends on the Facebook Live, yeah, two thumbs up. You are on Jam Rock Bradshaw. Joined in. All the peeps who are locked in. Big ups to you. All right. So we will give you another article similar to the first one. But this time around, the pathological liar can hurt you and confuse you. All right. If it is that you don't want the hurt... And you don't want the confusion because having hurt and confusion in your life unnecessarily really, really drives you over the wall. Yeah? Drive you up your rockers. And trust me, um, it's not healthy. It's a toxic situation you're talking about. All right? 15 ways a pathological liar hurts and confuses you with their lies. And I, I mean, I, I'm realizing that, boy... Sometimes when you read when you read some things, you realize that you have been in a situation that you didn't even know you were in. Yeah. In you know at times in your life. So mm -hmm. let's hear this one, and you can you're the best judge of what it is that you know you have been in or you are in if it is that you see any of these signs. Pathology is a term used to describe disease cause causation or progression. A, patho a pathological liar is ill and will make you ill too if you let them. On a very serious note, guys, people like this are sick. I strongly believe that. And if you're not careful, they can draw you in to that, that, sick, that state of mind with them. So be very, very cognizant and observant. Don't take anything at all for granted. We all know someone who has a hard time with the truth. Some of us lie to save our feelings, as we said earlier, but sometimes entirely differently from a pathological liar. All right? Someone, that pathological liar is someone who lies because they can. And we did say that they have no moral compass earlier. Um, they lie so they can manipulate, they can control and confuse everyone in their wake. Everyone around them, they want to manipulate, control, or confuse. The pathological liar may or may not have started out as one. All right? Sometimes people are good at lying and it becomes a habit for them. Um, but before you know it, the truth seems too simplistic. It's, it's so easy for them to tell the truth. So they have to build up something more complicated, like building up on lies. It gives them a drive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so 15 undeniable hurts of a pathological liar. Whatever the reason, the person you are with can't seem to come to terms with the truth, but you should come to terms with the fact that they aren't ever going to provide you with it. All right? So you have to decide what you're going to do. Find someone who is honest and true. One. Here are the signs. They lie about mundane things. Little simple, ordinary things. They lie about it, right? Um, the pathological liar lies about everything. Um, number two, they hide things from you. The pathological liar doesn't want to get caught, so they hide everything from you. They lock their phone keep us codes on everything and they keep you out of their personal business so that you can't check up on them. Hmm. 
The thing is that they are so darn good at confusing you, even if they're fail safe of hiding everything falls through, they have a great excuse to get out of whatever it is they lie about. Hmm. So they hide everything from you. Three, they convince you that you are mistaken. They leave you completely upside down and backward. <laughs> a pathological liar has a lot of experience and expertise in lying. So if you, if you do catch or question them, they learn to switch things up. Project back onto you and make you so upside down, you forget what you're even talking about to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> When you are in a relationship with a pathological liar, you spend half of your life scratching your head and wondering where things went wrong. Four, you begin to question yourself when you are in a relationship with them. Mm -hmm. Ask all kind of questions. It leaves you feeling constantly anxious and unreal in your own life. You wonder, am I, did I, you're confused. Like you go mad. There is no way to maintain a healthy relationship with someone dishonest with you. You never know what is real, including their love. Plain and simple. Five, there is nothing sacred enough that is off limits to lie about. All right? Do I look fat? And of course, they tell you, no. When <laughs> you really look fat, you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe they don't <laughs> but, want to hurt you. Yeah, don't, no, but... Then it's a tell lie same way. It's a tell lie same way. Can I have to tell lie? It's not like the person going and kill you if you say them look fat. Yeah. But they really want to know the truth so they can, you know, mm -hmm. analyze themselves or whatever. For the person who goes through life telling mistruths, mis mis there is nothing that they won't lie about, including whether they love you or not. And if they want to tell you they love you, mm -hmm. they convince you. Remember yeah. me tell you, when they don't tell you they love you, you are so... Gullible and believing it mm -hmm. because they are good at lying. To say they don't love you would be the hardest thing to do, even though it's the truth. Yeah. <laughs> A lie to them is like the truth. The truth. Yeah. Number six, they switch stories midstream, even, even without skipping a beat. Yeah. So in the middle of saying one story, and that's where you know, saying that in a yeah. song, good and just give Put one next song. Yes. Yeah. Drop it in quick, 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 quick. All right. They twist and turn mid-sentence without skipping a beat, which leaves everyone dealing with them thinking clearly. I, I must be mistaken. Mm. That happened to me some time ago, you know, a while back. Somebody gave me a story and I'm like, yeah. And, you know, I'm always believing in giving the benefit of the doubt, even if I don't say it go. Yeah. And the person gave me a story and I was like feeling sorry for them. I said, oh my. And then me and I said, but no. Me no start to wonder if so, me, me miss something. Yeah. Because the person was just really, really so convincing. And lo and behold, I lied to my tell, and you'd have never known. Yeah. Very manipulative. Number seven, they have a way out and an excuse for everything. Eight, they are very good at covering their tracks. A whole lot of time is spent and wasted on covering a liar's tracks. They have a master plan that goes from start to finish. There are very few ways to break the pathological liar's web. Yep. Like a spider, they lie in wait to sting. Nine, if you question them, they make you feel bad for doing so. Right. Ten, they typically have an underlying personality disorder that gives them the propensity to be lax with the truth. Underlying personality disorder. That's what it is. Underlying they, they, We don't see it. Disorder. Not even them not see it. But it's mm. there. And it means that something wrong is here. It's so. a sickness. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, being a pathological liar is typically the least of their worries. Usually when someone can't st stick to the truth, there is a problem, a personality problem. Whether it is a narcissistic personality disorder or sociopath personality, lying is a part of their entire persona. Eleven, they lie because it is, con it is a control thing. You don't own them. You don't 
you don't owe they don't owe you anything why should they have to tell you the truth lying is a very powerful and controlling thing having you believe something that isn't true is like saying you aren't going to put a gps on me <laughs> 12 they never take responsibility oh my goodness oh boy Gracie says, compulsive liars can't love nobody but themselves. I agree with you, Gracie. Definitely agree with you. They never take responsibility. I am a rubber, you are glue. They bounce off, they bounce off of me, sticks to you. If you are with a pathological liar, they will never wait. Did I say never? Because I meant never take responsibility for anything. Their actions, their behaviors, their lies. They are either, it's, they are either your fault or someone else's. Oh my goodness. They have an uncanny way of making you, of making sure that nothing sticks. And I have had that experience. Never ever take any responsibility for absolutely nothing at all. It's always somebody else's fault. Always your fault. Why this happened and why that happened. Because I, I'm so perfect that mm -hmm. nothing can be on me. Mm -hmm. Nothing sticks. Mm -hmm. 13. They destroy every relationship they are in. If you are with a pathological liar... What you will find out quickly is they don't have many long-term friends or relationships. <laughs> you can't trust people who lie all the time. And although they might be good at what they do, when you get close to them, you eventually see their manipulation and ugliness. If you are in a relationship with someone without quality friendships and their past relationships all ended in disaster, think about what goes on in their life. I real talk, you know? Yeah. Real talk. 14, they have no remorse. The pathological liar watches you cry and lose your, lose your ever-loving mind. And it doesn't affect them. Someone who lies with, without remorse is just wrong in many ways. And as much as you don't want to hear this, they certainly don't care about you. Fifteen. They take your security. My Lord. And when a man or a woman takes that, you really, really don't have a lot left. In a relationship, you expect to love and be loved in return. They turn out to sit on a bed of lies and make you question your humanity. When you love someone who bluntly lies to your face without feeling bad, it makes you question your judgment in all things. But remember, it isn't you, it's them. Pathological liars are people who can't see the truth and don't feel least bit sorry when they lie. Uh, usually a symptom of some other personality defect lurking beneath most importantly don't let them change the way you see other people in your life so not because you were with somebody who was a pathological liar if you find somebody else don't view them in the very same way because it's not it's not necessarily true that they are going to be the same all right um it is easy to develop trust issues when you love someone you can't believe but it is on them not you if you think you can change the pathological liar, you only lie to yourself. To save yourself and your sanity, say goodbye and leave. All right? Let their lies be someone else's problem. Very, very interesting um, there. Um, we would love to know. Um, before I go to Prestige, Nisha says, Yes, me agree with, with number 12. Uh, NY half would do that. New York? Hmm. Not getting that part. All right. Um, um, Prestige, have mm -hmm. you, based on the, 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 the pointers just now, 
can you say you've ever experienced a pathological liar? Yeah, man. Not necessarily in a relationship, you know, mm. in an intimate relationship, yeah. but other social relationships? They have bridging. Yeah? Yeah, we're just lying for nothing. Oh, but how do you just know? How do you know they're lying? Eh? How do you know they're lying? Because most of the lie them when they might tell I am yeah. on the spot, right? And not no go so. Yeah. Yeah. But they're on the spot. And them come and attack and I say some things just to put themselves in another position they feel look big. Right? Wow. And I was there. Mm. Yeah. So I just straight lie. And I just say him stay. And we have him as a liar and we just know say same thing. If I we are grow, you can't change. Really? No. And if nobody nobody's ever said now, my you to lie, man. Mm. And you know, change. Or my you to pure like you tell. You, you know, change. Doesn't, doesn't affect him? You know, change. Or when you tell him that he's still a child, he convince you. <laughs> that he's not? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You know, and I just say still. And is he, would you say he has been able to hold a relationship? How are you, man? He might have a relationship. He might have a relationship or no. Mm-mm. See him, but let me tell you something. You see, people like those, most of the time, in a relationship, to me, in a relationship, to me. So it's fake? No. Mm -hmm. Like the relationship run after lies and truth. Oh. You get me? But you see, other people, they then convince some way. Oh. And because they want to put themselves, because when they go out there in the a broader oh, world, yeah. Yeah, they want to put themselves in a spotlight. You know what I And it means so lie that it will tell meet her some girl and tell him say I'm on that yacht over there so <laughs> oh my you know God. just to big up yourself oh my god you get me goodness. I come from just to big up yourself <laughs> and they always try to in the spotlight Jesus. and they want to in the spotlight I could not be with a yeah. man like that uh uh I, I couldn't no sir to tell a lie that mm. I was in New York last weekend I would I could never see myself telling somebody I was in New York last week when I wasn't yeah, there. Yeah. My name did it. What tell them to go there for? Like like say for instance, no, me say. You know, say <laughs> Twisted. Me interview um Taurus Riley last week and then the career. Him jump up. Oh Taurus Riley, you know so me did that town last week I I I I I the show where them put on mm -hmm. you know the show where them put on and, and, and the show where them relax. And the show where them put on the show where them put on is um is is a show for celebrities, you know, and I was there. You oh, know, oh, you mean, you get a it. pass and go in and I want to tell some media about some of my picture they were taking you know, up, but they come like some you know where me do and, and wipe them out and foot. Just lies. You get me, I say? You know them kind of things that just lies. Oh my goodness. Just a big up oh and say like God. so well. You get me, I say? Uh -uh. Just lies. And then they cover up them tracks. Very well. I'm wondering if they sit and plan all the lies they're going to tell before they it's tell them. There's something natural, man, to them, man. Natural? Yeah. Oh, my God. Natural to them. I don't know where they have a plan. Lady it's Grace says, I know people who lie bad mm. and then believe the lies them tell. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Twisted it's brain. Like, it comes it come, it come to them natural. No, sir. Natural. Uh, do, do feel free to call and share if it is that you know a yeah. pathological liar. Mm. Someone who is pathologically mendacious. Yeah. Words of Katie Knight. I remember in that um, incursion mm. um, when they were asking yeah. those use that word. questions. Yeah. Yes, man. And they were in, yeah. in an interview. Yeah, people like that. Know, he said that. Uh, we all say, well, you know, mendacious. things like, you know, um, I mean, he said to him, say, you know, say, we never know, say, Obama was here, you know, last week. You know, I saw, I saw it on TV. You know, I saw flying, say, yeah, man, Obama, Obama the day, man. Me take a picture with Obama. Mm, I'm shaking all, all autograph, autograph for me. But my money, they let me come like me, I spend the money. <laughs> you get me? Uh, you, you're not saying uh, lie. And then to you, you're like, but why would you spend the money? Yeah. It's autographed. Yeah, but you say or, you spend the money, yeah. make mistake, I spend the money. Yeah. You get me? I say, can you not have the money for sure? Sure, nothing? right. So, you know, find something to say yeah. that makes sense. At These the time. are the things, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you know, you might talk and you will believe him. You yes, know, he watch TV to you and you see Obama pan it, you know. <laughs> and so, you can, and, and can tell you the suit where the man they have on. Oh you get me? I say, them kind of things there. I that's where I come from. So some like people that. know who never never watch TV or, or saw it on the TV and stuff like that. <laughs> and then they could hear the inconvenience them. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, you know, we see it on TV, me we say, you know, I true, you know, because of that team, they have on for true, you know, next wise. You get me come from? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so lie, lie. And, and, me tell you, it, it, so my time, you will catch up with them. Mm -hmm. You know, see, but after, you will catch up with them. Mm -hmm. Some of the time, they will just tell a lie right away, right? And we never tell for them lie, you know, for them lie convincing, you know. Mm -hmm. Very, for very them convincing. lying, for them lying, it, it, it's not as easy to catch up with them. So, until after you realize, say, oh, they only might tell me say the six, and that they go on. Mm -hmm. But they always have an agenda. Yeah, the seventh. You go on the seventh, and mm -hmm. you might tell me about the six. So, <coughs> you might tell me say, you go to this event. Say for instance, you know, all them steer. Then you will tell me say, then go in, go to this event, by the six, right? Mm -hmm. Right? And the event is the seventh. <laughs> you get me? The event was the seventh, right? So you tell me saying God the event last night. You know? And then we could wear then, you know, nice and then we could wear. I mean, I tell you a big man, a pure celebrity man. They are event man. You know? Pure, me running out bolt. And then we could wear then mm. me and both they are reason my youth and you know, Ray Ray Ray. Oh, and, I see a catchy. You know, and me running out Yo, pure celebrity. Like, like it's a date, yeah, pure nice celebrity. Hot chicken, and boom. You know. And then now me just boom now. I'm here. Me I watch um waiting the name um Pan TV. So me I watch this thing upon TV when they carry um entertainment Ray, report. Ray. Mm -hmm. And me I watch it, me I say, me I watch it the night. After the event, which is the seventh, and him tell me saying go from the six. <laughs> and me I watch him and say, oh Lord, the people say last night was so nice mm -hmm. at um such and such, you know, place and ray 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 and I me I say blow just yes. good. I say about two minutes and me saying go from the six. Yeah. Oh, if you go the six and I seven, this happen. It doesn't and lie. Might, and he might tell you, don't no, say, well, is that two show them they have? Two show, or one show, or something. Just one <laughs> show. But, but he might he just yeah, yeah find something to cover that. Yeah. And you, you just lie. Lie and you catch up with them enough time, but you catch up upon them way after. Way after, when the damage, damage is already done, yeah. it needs to be done. So, most of the time, then Corona and they start a little thing, and you will know, same so still like that. And you say, Big man, we never want to hear a story right now. And you just walk around us leave him because you know, it's a peel like hotel, right? So, and then, and then a man can see a woman who he thinks is attractive mm. and just tell, tell another virgin that he has been with her before, yeah, just they tell used a lie. to date. Lie. And I'm convinced the brother in that what mm. I used to live at so and so and so. So mm. what's your name? And I find a name, mm. give her. Yeah. And I what caused enough to break up and him give her even my story same way as to what caused the break up when the I miss up on the girl character even, right there. Yeah, the one doesn't even know him. Because the next guy has never gone there. Yeah, the next person go look upon that girl and say, Yeah. You know? She she's yeah. wicked so, she yeah. stays so. Yeah. You know? When mm. really and truly has not never had an experience. Never have a conversation with this young lady. Mm. Never. Wow. What about a woman though? Have you Ever experienced a female where you're nurturing and Never. caring for her? And no, pan a level there. That she's no, like no, that. no, no, pan a level to that extent, right? But lie. Okay. Lie. That it does. If white lies, too much. Caught? Yeah, it does too much. No. Mm -hmm. Me can't deal with it no more. You have to just move on. <laughs> me can't deal with it no more. Just move on. It's too much. You get me? I say. Mm. And and then, like say, for instance, all right? Just word speaking, you know. You're not catching it up on your ends, right? Mm -hmm. And then, you're not a deal, you know. And then she say, um, say, for instance, she a word right now, watch it. And she say, um, you know, say, so may I come up, but may I have some things, some things run at your house, you know. And what you can do, you can just. Give it to my sister, then, right? Mm -hmm. Just give it to my sister because time I come up, I just go straight up a yard. I not go really stop. So I remind her now, say, so where you go straight up for? And I'm looking away there. Because I don't have to give sister things, them. I don't can carry up. You see what I say? I don't can carry up. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to go straight up and give your sister the things, I can't carry up. Then the person says, okay, you know you're right. Because the person has plans. I say, you know, you're right. Mm -hmm. So the person come by your ends, and they by your ends now, and you're the person, did they are reason. First thing now, because the person don't have plans, you know. Mm -hmm. So the person come by your ends, and I say, 
So I never feel too good. After I did it for a while, I, read, I never feel too good. Because the person with that face, you know, you're not you going to really have sex or do a little thing, and, you know. never feel too good. And really. You never worry about that. Because, mm-hmm. you know, you don't worry about that. Because that's not on my agenda, really. And, you know, the person leave out and the person say, okay, I'm going to go home. You see what I say? Mm-hmm. Right? The person not, 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 not end up home, you know. The person end up <laughs> which part that she was supposed to go from the night before. Oh. But because maybe me say X, Y, Z, so the person end up and say no. You know, see? Then when you find out on the show now, like uh, the next day, you know, you may see a family member or a cousin or whatever, and I say, what's oh, going on? And say, you know, say, I did the dumb so last night, me, um, like I said, Cheryl. Mm-hmm. You know, see, I say, Cheryl. Oh, yeah, Sherry, Sherry, no, no, gonna pay in the pay. I say, no, Sherry, come down here yesterday morning about 10 o'clock, man. You know, see it? And we go to such and such place, man, and then they come here, and way, way, way. You know, and then they come here, and bang, bang, bang. And I say, what? So you may say, me, me say no to Sherry, no, I say, Sherry. I say, oh, you see, I go up and XYZ, and way, way, way. Then she say, yeah, man, I go up, man, and I go wash and all, and kind of something, there, man, and then they come here, man, and up a yard, man. I never left up a yard, man. And then they come here, boom. You find a say, person, I tell a liar. Yeah. You know see it? You know? Cause they get caught right there. Yep. These are the things, you know see it? What them do most of the time. Just tell us something like a dry lie and you get you, you, you get just tired of it. And then people just have to just move on. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And of course. I wanna say good night to Davia, who locked into Styles if I'm a Mr. Curry. Good night. Big All up right. on the server every time. Lady Grace, how you doing up there in Atlanta? How the weather? <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah. We're going to quickly um, see what our friends have said as it relates to the pathological liars. Let's quickly go to Marcia from South Carolina. Um, Marcia says, we need to be honest and tell... It's not opening, okay? We need to be honest and tell this pathological liar that they... Uh, that they... That I know you are lying. And while we are doing so, we need not laugh. We need to do so sternly and help the individual to get help. Um, interesting, so, but if it is that they don't, they don't want to get any help, mm. then that's the whole other game. You can't change them, my people, man. Can't change yeah. them at all. You can't um, change them. Let's see if anybody else there quickly had anything else to add. Um, Lady Gracie says thunderstorm now mm-hmm. um have we read all her messages already mm-hmm. thunderstorm no Up all right there? just be safe gracie just yeah. be safe yeah all go right. in the bunker um, find the bunker <laughs> of course any other text mm-hmm. messages mm-hmm. um quickly all right i think we pretty much mm-hmm. turned them all out mm-hmm. All right, thank you all so much, guys, for being a part of our show tonight, for sticking and staying with us. And if it is that you have come across or you are in um, present situations with someone who really is a compulsive pathological liar, liar. and it's not helping healthy. your cause or, or help, healthy, yeah, relationship. healthy a relationship, then you need to decide on what it is that you need to do. Yeah. Because as we said, little white lies is bad enough. Yeah. yeah. And little white lies that come maybe because you don't want to hurt the person's feeling at the time. But then for the most part, you are a truth speaker. That's a whole different kettle of fish. But when it comes on to everything you lie about and it reaches a place where you are made to feel as if you're questioning yourself when something is wrong with you and this person is never ever wrong and everything that they do is about what they hope to achieve then that is definitely toxic and unhealthy a relationship for any man to be in or for any woman to be in all right Uh, uh, we've come before you go right I want to say to the people them on the outside here who plan for fine fusion. Oh yeah. Right? Um, listen up. I have tickets for sale. Only seven hundred dollars. Pre-sold. Pre-sold. The tickets they will have a seven hundred dollar for them. Me not have to put no pre-sold for nothing. Me take off a pre-sold for no. A seven hundred dollar. The only seven hundred dollar me I get going for the ticket them. Right? Me not put no more for them. Can me take off a pre-sold? 
right? So then cheap. <laughs> All right. So you can just link me up. Here, $700. I don't send enough more than $700 because I take off a pre-soul. I go on a discount, so I take off a pre-soul. All right. Right? So $700 for tickets. You just link me up. Fan Fusion, the 13th of July. All right? 13th of July, Oysters Bay, Dolphin Bay, Port Antonio. That's up there. In, um, Across from Bayview property. Bayview, wa- Bayview Waterfront property. That's on the 13th of July. Peeps? See you there, all See right? See you there, all right? Until next time, on behalf of our engineer Cassidy and my co-host for today, Prestige, Lady Cleo signing out. Big ups to all our friends who text in earlier who have some has had something to say um continue to keep it locked to styles fm and continue to be supporters of a real talk you know it's always a real talk yeah keep it real every time the show where we discuss everything real and nothing i